I got a question for y'all. Why mm. going? Did y'all know my sister is the original Munch? I don't like hearing that. No, uh, uh, no for real. No, I didn't know. Wow. That. What do you mean by you that? You know, cultural context is important, so you know what yeah. that means. She's the first know. person I ever called Munch. Like, yo, what up, Munch? Like, yeah. why? You just you said you was ahead of the curve for uh, Ice Spice. She was, or maybe her dad. That's her nickname. Nah, Wait, she didn't nickname? Nickname? No, no. Munch. What's the origin of the nickname? Yeah, yeah. she didn't choose that name. Like, how did this come Munchie. about? Y'all chose that name. I for didn't choose y'all it. Y'all mean as shit. That is her and her dad. Like that was their father daughter oh, thing. So he gave it to her since she was a baby. Before Ice Spice was even like shaking ass on the block. But we gonna she, call, she's been Munch. Nah, we are gonna call her a name. Honestly, if we take our <laughs> dirty little minds and the context out of it, Munch is like a cute nickname. It is, you know. Yeah. But we're so poisoned by society that <laughs> Yo, we can't yeah. even enjoy a cute nickname. Nah. I thought Munch was full. I mean, she got rid of the Munch, and now we just call her Chi. That sounds Asian. Shit funny, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that sounds hella Asian. Welcome. <laughs> so she went from Munchie to Munch, and then when Ice Spice got had the takeover, then we had the to take just cut, yeah, we cut it down to Chi. So now she's just Chi. Aww. But the Chi derives from her being a Munch. She's not a Munch. Wow. She's being Munch. No, she's Wait. not. Wait. But you still didn't tell us the context yeah, of like, it. How, You're talking like, about a whole uh, doctor right here, all right? Facts. She is a doctor. Shout out to my baby. All right. Mm-hmm. That's right. But yeah, she's a Dr. Munch. Aside from your sister, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dr. Munch. I watched Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Same. Doctors is munching. What? The- <laughs> oh, yeah. I said aside from your sister. I'm just saying, I've seen some clips. I didn't oh, finish this. What's up with you, man? I, no, I don't know. What's up with you, bro? Mm-hmm. Nah, because they getting freaky in there. Yo, we got you smoke. Ever- hmm? Do we, have, like, do we have an issue? Do we have I any do issues? feel the tension in the air. Anything? No, no, no. Just, just in general, I just want to get it out the way. Before we start the podcast, <laughs> welcome everybody. Now, Wait, I, I want to talk to you man to man, face to face. We here in the flesh. Do we got an issue, bro? Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. Yeah. You feel tension in the air? Um, I don't know. I just said that out of pressure. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. About to say. What? I didn't mean it. Why the fuck would I have a problem with you? I don't okay, know. no, I feel like he's mad at me. So what happened? <laughs> you okay, talking okay. about last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gaslighter? Uh-huh. <laughs> Nigga, you called me that. <laughs> I'm, asking, I, I'm just trying to make sure, like, we good. Bro, we, we, we straight. Oh, don't all right, don't all right, go, all right. don't do that. What you you turn into them? I turn into who? You know what we do for content? I know, but I just want to make sure we good. Nigga, we always I, good. I will right. I will say what though, the fuck? Alex was right. <laughs> Yo, Alex, just leave it alone. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? I do see Alex's just, point. Just leave you know, it alone. in hindsight. Just leave it alone. Okay, shall we? Okay, I'll stop. Nah, I'll don't stop, even I'll do stop. it. Don't even bring up Pusha T today. Just leave it alone. He gonna think I'm beefing with him. You know what it really is? <laughs> you feel very strongly about Pusha. So you gonna think anybody's shooting at you once he's mentioned. Well, That's he's, what it was. He called you bias. Wow. That's yeah. what it was. He's my favorite black. So Okay. Mm. I out think of everybody? Out of, yeah, that's kind of... Number right. one. So we're going to talk about our favorite whites, like give an update later on the episode yes. on Stay tuned, whites. guys. Stay tuned. So we did want to make sure we had equality, and we're going to also talk about our yeah. favorite blacks later yeah. on in the episode. Balance, right? balance. So yeah. Pusha T would be on my Mount Rushmore blacks. Black Hold people. on. Can we talk about, Ray for J's my once... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you just got me off. Can we talk about, for once, our favorite Asians as well? Oh, for sure. Oh, okay, so the... I'm just saying that so you guys have time to prepare your answers. All right, okay? Reggie, you okay. got to help me with the names. <laughs> Wow. What do you mean? Nah, because I'm about to fuck some names No, up. but that means they're not your favorite if you don't even know their name, Alex. No, but it's a lot of them. You know how many favorites I, how many, I have and I don't know how to say their names? Yo, you That's crazy. so crazy. <laughs> it be black people. I'm gonna, I love them. I'm going to let that slide. Yo. All right, let me take it to my blacks. Shout out to my, uh, my big sis, Asia Wilson. I was calling her Aja for the longest. <laughs> Aja. I thought it was Aja, Aja Wilson. Mm. I get it. I see what you said. That was a good cleanup. Uh-huh. No, it's the real. Clean up on aisle three. Clean up on aisle three. It's Somebody the, go get them. It's the real. I see what you did. I right, watch this. Do you guys need help pronunciating some African names? Well, if they were my yeah. favorite African person, I will know how to Y'all pronounce their name. Y'all still be fucking it up. My, look, you know how many cousins I have here who have an African name, mm-hmm. but have accepted the American version of whatever the Americans uh, give them? That's you, that's, that's common though, right? No, he's African. What the fuck? Your name is Alex. Yeah, that's my name. But what it really derived from? What's your full name? No, his, Alexander. No, no. I hate no. Yeah. I, I hate that because I know uh, I feel Alex because I'm Korean, but yeah. I, my name is Regina. Like literally on my birth certificate, it's yeah. Regina Cho. Yes. But people are like, "No, what's your real name?" I'm like, "That was racist <laughs> as fuck." But okay, because I'm American. But like, okay, a little racism <laughs> is cool sometimes. No, though. you looked at Alex like he's like, "No, nah, what's your you real gotta name?" Be honest, though. What's oh, your yeah, African Alexander. name? <laughs> a, a smidge of racism, like that shit is it's fun. Mm, yeah, depending on who you ask. A little, a, a little <laughs> bit. Okay, okay. It is the fabric of this country. Yeah. What? So not for sure. Racism. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like, it's, it's embedded Literally, in the country. It's embedded in everything about America, honestly. No, and those sure. are like the best jokes. When comedians tell jokes, I think racist jokes are probably the funniest. They are. They are. <laughs> but to me, it's like very. 
not that I'm like, I'm not a comedy snob at all. Like, I don't know shit, but it's like, it's so easy to have like low hanging fruit when it comes to racist jokes to me. Like a lot of things are it's old, easy. like repeated. I'm like, guys, can you come up with something new, please? Yeah, like oh. African booty scratcher. It's like, time if they, for if they said that, up. I'll be yeah, like, that's bro. That's not funny. That, nah, well, tell the kids funny. back in the day, they was used to chuckle. No, that. You you got trauma around that. No, nah, no, nah, I really don't. That's your go-to. This is my trauma. I'm gonna tell you what it was, right? I reflect at Afrobeats culture now. I reflect on my African culture now and I see how many people are participants and enjoying themselves. Yeah. When I was coming up, niggas thought we ate flies. That's a fact. I'm just that's, saying. That's not, you you are not lying. I'm that's just saying. But, but but if we you did say I did eat a fly. Okay. Yeah. I did. I remember that episode. He's right. He's right. They wasn't totally wrong when they were giving you that assumption. All right, but we eat chicken too. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we eat chicken. I just got to clarify. And Suya. We eat that shit. So if a comedian makes like a black person joke, like, oh my God, fried chicken, we're like, bro, can you like shut up? It has to be culturally relevant uh, and it it has to have like some nuance to it. It has to be witty. It has to be original. Like like you said, the African booty scratch or when you talk about Asians driving, like, come on, dude. Yeah. It's like not you know, original, like, like or but or I never heard it, that one. Where, where you heard that one from? Uh, that's, I hear it all the time. Oh, I never heard that. Yeah, one. that's common. You oh, never yeah. heard that? Never what heard the Asians can't drive? Yeah. No, they usually say Asians and Puerto Ricans can't drive. I never heard the Puerto hey, Rican one. Hey, them Puerto Ricans. All women. One of my boys. Beer. All women. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one. Damn, am I a stereotype? <laughs> one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Asian Damn. and and a woman right. and I can't fucking drive. You on the board? That's a point. And I'm excellent at math. You on the board? I'm very Asian. Yeah. <laughs> Two points. I remember one time I was working with somebody and they used to have to order their, their cars like for car service and everything, yeah. and they would legit tell me if a woman comes up on that Uber app. Cancel it <laughs> and reorder Damn. for a new driver. It's the opposite of me because I love when I have a woman driver as an Uber driver. But I hate when I'm like, <laughs> but I hate when I'm like, when like, let's say someone said African booty scratcher, and yeah. I'm like, guys, can we like? That is such a stupid like old joke. And if I say that, people think I'm offended. But no, I'm just trying to point out like, can you get new jokes, please? Uh, you know like, what? I'll, I'll, I'll caveat it with this: when it comes to racist jokes, if you are a black comedian and you tell jokes on like the black community that we can we've all lived through yeah i think that's like really funny and clever yeah. when it when it's done really well like i saw really shane gillis he told a joke about being a white male and he's like yo the older i get the deeper i tap into being a white republican <laughs> <laughs> when i when i was younger and i'm gonna fuck the joke up but it's on instagram somewhere but he was like yo when i was younger i was like real progressive and fucking democratic and hey i love everybody yeah. and then now that i'm getting a little bit older yo, i'm yeah. starting to feel that white republican no it's shit. like yo they got some points you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like wait what they do is that way? type of racism shit that i like yeah. like that shit is funny. cool it's funny like yeah, relatability yeah. is always funny it is mm-hmm. it is yeah. for sure for sure with that being said what's going on y'all it's the need to know Podcast back for another episode. I go by the name Savon. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy A, as always, the Paco Rabone Poppy. Never alone, I'm always the posse. Hello, guys. It's me, Regina. I don't have an intro, um, but I am Asian and a woman. I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> and and is good at very good at math. Very good at math. And then we also got a backwards hat P. Hey. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's you know, good, P? Hey. What's good, what's good? I knew. I didn't hey. want to be like offensive but yeah. i looked i was looking at here i was like something's different, different about right? you today come put your finger on it so boom this is what happened right damn i don't uh, somebody uh, snuck you <laughs> damn and it's backwards too right. like you got into a fight all right so i just came back from puerto rico right woo, woo, woo. it was cool fire Ooh. right touch touch the people i was playing dominoes with local folk i was doing all that stuff right That's i was really saying. ingrained in the fire. whole thing right? i saw that um, you know, when you go on vacation, usually you take pictures and, you know, make sure you r- kind of document the moment and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> so I was taking a picture and I'm like, yo, why does my head look mad long? Like, what the fuck? So then I realized I started like touching my lineup and I'm like, oh shit, my barber pushed me back crazy. Does he? No. So basically. But take wait, let's see. Let yeah, us take see. Take Nah, you good. Bro, take, no. what you mean? There's already a picture of it. I'm going to go nah. look at your Puerto Rico pictures. Wait, you ain't know until you landed out there? Nah, yeah, if you don't show us right now, we're going to make your Puerto Rico, pic- <laughs> Puerto Rico pictures the cover art. The, the cover art? That's yes. fine. Um, I I didn't realize it until I started touching. Like, you know how when you touch a line, you can see oh, where the hair was? Oh, Pierre. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, you so was out like, there having a good time. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I can't go back like that. So I was like, yo, let me find a hat real quick. So save on, right? I understand where you're coming from, my brother. 
I understand, you know, rocking the hat on, mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So I, all those jokes I used to tell you about, you know, you having a ball, you know, that I take all that back. Is this karmic retribution? I think so. No. Unfortunately. Damn. You got what was coming to you, man. You got to watch your boy. Yeah, I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's OD. Yo, OD. Yo, OD. Welcome. Welcome to the dark He's side, OD. brother. Nah, so, you know what's funny? Yeah. <laughs> I went down the YouTube rabbit hole. So, oh, have shit. y'all seen these clips? Uh, yeah. Pop the balloon or find love. Oh my God. Yeah. I've seen them. Yo. Y'all seen the clips? Yeah. People are being mean. I watch every episode. All right. I of didn't know you were Wait, God damn. Yeah. Why every episode? Yo, who I are you? I don't know if people actually Salt enjoyed that. Yeah. It was Sorry to be that person, I, but I was like, that what? was hate. No, I know. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like it's so like degrading. So I've always I've always saw yeah. the clips on yeah. like Twitter, twenty V ones and, on, and things like that. Yeah, I've I've always seen the clips. Yeah. And for whatever reason, um I searched it on on YouTube one day. I hadn't like I was just really bored. I searched it on YouTube. I'm like, <laughs> this is a really dope concept. I didn't understand because everything that I saw was just always some outlandish, like it, it felt staged because right. the the clips that I saw as is, is no way. Like it right. felt like a skit. There's no way that this is real <laughs> life. Like that's what I thought to myself. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do the research. Let me really tap in. Um, and I did. And I watched it as like a social experiment yeah. for me. I, like it was entertaining too. So shout out to everybody. A lot of people, y'all got really, really huge balls to go on these type of shows. I, I don't know if I could ever do it. I was tempted. I was Word? tempted. You looking for love? I'm not. No, I'm just trying shit. <laughs> but I am fascinated with how people work. Yeah. But like, what if you walked in, Savon, and there was like 10 girls with balloons and you hear like eight pops? <laughs> then I know I got some work to do when I get back home. <laughs> he gonna take it as motivation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got some work to do. That would be so traumatizing. I, like... I got some work to do. Yeah, so. Is. I, I did watch a few episodes. I'll probably watch about three or four. Because it's essentially a group of maybe uh, however many people, and they have all get a balloon, mm-hmm, and depending mm-hmm. on the contestant who they're supposed to choose from, they yeah. can either pop it or stay. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Gotcha. So um, there's a handful, let's say a dozen, a dozen men or women. And depending on the episode, if there's a dozen men, that means there's going to be a woman contestant who comes in and you pop the balloon if you aren't interested, or they get a chance to pop the balloon if they're not interested. And yeah, you kind of narrow it down so and hopefully you find love. And it is pretty vain. That's so vain. It is really vain, which is why yeah. I was fascinated by it because watching how people work in real time. Yeah. And then that balloon pop is an indicator of this is exactly when I lost interest. Mm-hmm. Right? Depending on what it is they <laughs> said, depending on when they walked in and you seen it at first sight. Like yep. it, it was really fascinating. Yeah. That's nervous. It's like right they here. would like say their job and then you hear like a pop. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> traveling nurses. Pop? I didn't know that traveling nurses for women get a bad rep. That's like men working in warehouses. Wait, wait, what? No, they get not. a bad rep. I, no, don't don't they make like a lot of money? No, they it's, do. It's not about the money. It's, it's about the time away. It's about the time away. Like one of the guys, a, the a few of the guys, right when they came across a travel nurse, and we got a ton to talk about, so we will get there. But I found this like I said, fascinating. The thing with the travel nurses, according to these guys, is like, hey, if my girl's traveling a lot. I know she's always going to try to find the it spot. She's always going to have all these apps to connect with people and make friends and socialize. <laughs> like, and it was and it was a shared agreement amongst a lot of the guys on the panel. I didn't know that. I just feel like if she saved the life today, she she's entitled <laughs> to some dick. <laughs> Even if it's not yours. Or she could <laughs> just mm-hmm. like to explore oh, cities. girlfriend. There's somebody girlfriend. Not just... I mean, you... Because you, I thought they was dating. At the time, okay. that he was talking, his experience was... My ex, Got she you. used to do that. Not okay, saying okay. that the woman that was on the show did. Someone he was in a relationship with. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it was his trauma. If gotcha. you like shows like that, Savon, like just social experiments and just seeing how people, like mm-hmm. analyzing how people work, mm-hmm. you would love this channel, a uh, YouTube channel named Jubilee. I'll send it to you. They have a bunch of like, like videos of like an atheist and like a really a religious Christian. person. Yeah. yeah like, can yeah, they meet please. in middle ground? Like you would love that channel. Send that to me. That's please. Fire. Send that's, that's, yeah, I yeah, swear. You're going to go into like a rabbit hole. I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. So, the reason that I even brought this show up, uh, very well produced, and, yeah. and a lot of the people, they look great. Um, I, I see mostly black people participate, so that's yep. also intriguing to me, because, yeah. you know, white, it's White folks married. <laughs> Damn. We not? Damn. We are a little bit. I mean. <laughs> Wait, why'd you say? Wait, Wait, why'd you say? <laughs> what you mean a little bit? <laughs> we not. Oh, I'm talking about this yeah. room. Oh, no, I thought up. us as a people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> but uh, th- the reason I even brought the show up is because there was one common denominator in the three episodes that I watched when the, the male or the panel was made up of men. And when Pierre tried to make fun of me for my uh, hairline, follically challenged head, yeah. 
it made me realize like women don't have an issue with bald men the way that I thought they had an issue with bald That's men. That's what we, we would try this. to tell you. <laughs> yeah. not, about this on Patreon. not only that, mm-hmm. women aren't as vain as I thought it's they the men. were. It's the men. Women don't like short men. <laughs> Yo, that's so true. Everything of, that I thought yeah. that women wanted, like the dad bod. Oh, I used to think they hated that. They loved the dad. They embraced the dad bods. Yeah, they they embraced the patchy beards. They embraced the broke. But if you are short. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What are we talking about now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slippery not slope. Not, 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 yeah, that was a slippery slope. Especially this. Nah. He's like, they don't mind if they're broke. Yeah. If they cheat. Uh, yeah. They don't care. Like I'm like, and I'm like say, Mom, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm t- based on the small sample size that I saw, yeah. every other the the one thing that disqualified almost every guy on the panel automatically was automatically their height yeah now it didn't matter how tall the woman was how short the woman was how fat the woman was what she looked like what she brought to the table it didn't matter if the guy was short he was almost always disqualified even if she was short even if she was short, because now she wants that's a taller greedy. guy. That's greedy. So if she's five, and actually it, it came up on the <laughs> that's show. That's greedy. Lead a tall niggas for the tall uh, joint. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. That's greedy. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I did want to start and, and show some love to the short, 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 short folks out shout there. Shout out to shout my short kings. I'll say it. Reggie, shout them out some more. I'm they very need some genuine. More. Like, shout out to you guys. You guys deserve love. Mm-hmm. Keep bigging them up. Height is up. just a number, or whatever the phrase that's is. That's cap. Because mm-hmm. your niggas like 6'4. Facts. Chill, chill, chill. That He's an athlete that. and he's smart. Uh, Reggie, we try And to... he's wealthy. So. Reggie, Reggie. Yeah. Sorry, height. anyway, I got a little carried away. What's, what's, the exact, <laughs> what's the exact height that, in your eyes, it, it deems short? Somebody okay, so, short. oh, I have, a, I have a great answer. So, you know, okay, ladies, you know when a guy says, like, he's 5'11", he's not 5'11", because if, she, if he was actually 5'11", he would say he's six foot. So that means he's actually 5'10". 5'10", <laughs> yeah, yeah, to me, but I don't count because I'm very short, so 5'10 is fine to me. I would say if he's like five, six, that's like short. <laughs> but to a lot of women, if you're under six feet, that is automatically short to them. I don't agree, but I'm also short. So, yeah, nah. It's, that is my that's a girl answer. Math. Yes, that's, that's girl my math. girl math. You might be on this. Sorry if I offended anybody. I really do shout out my short kings. I don't mind if you guys are short. When's the last time you've updated this iOS? <laughs> you know, because I ain't going to lie, they really saying under six feet short, man. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, all right. I said to most women, if you don't hit that six feet, yeah. then. You are short, but so don't t- ever tell a woman you're five eleven because we know you're lying. The new Joe and shit, you can't be under six three. Nah, he gets that's game. not true. No, nah, I'm t- I metal. That's not true. <laughs> and then I feel you, bad. You've been trying to get this off. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to tell you. I'm a proud six one. I feel you. Like, I'm are a pr- you really? No, I you look tall. Yeah, I'm a proud. Like I'm. So if yeah. six three is the requirement, I'm never gonna get there. We're never gonna get there. We're just gonna have to settle with this little six. Wait, why don't you just right. tell people you're <laughs> six two? <laughs> Like, um, because that would be a lie. Because yeah, that would be a lie. Yeah, no. eh, who cares? Because some girls just... got brothers. <laughs> they brothers the, be tall. The best is when she really short, so she can't really tell. Yeah, yeah. So she all the way down there like, you like six, seven, right? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Shorty can't really tell. <laughs> that's why I just said that to Savon yeah. right now. Because if he told me he was six two, I couldn't even tell. Yeah, you, you see that? Because yeah, I'm yeah. all the way down you here. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where it get fly at. That's where it get fly. Yeah, I felt I felt really bad watching the show <laughs> and too. seeing all of the short guys, like their confidence level just decreased as each contestant came out because they kept being disqualified for being short. I it's guess that's up. why I don't like that show. I know like it's like whatever, it's funny, but and I hate to be the annoying one that's like, oh my God, I don't like this. But like, I just don't like seeing that. Like people like, their confidence being shattered for just Same. like the sake of entertainment. I'm like, why do people find like nah, why do you guys but, enjoy this? But nah, then there's people like Pierre who but, love this show. Yo, what's funny about it is <laughs> if you're on the show, nine times out of ten, you've seen kind of what goes on. So you go, you're going there anticipating, no. yeah. you know, all that is, you know, comes with it. So if you come out and you get seven balloons pop, you knew that might you know what you might, signed might up for. Yeah, yeah. Nah, mm-hmm. see, this is why they all got Napoleon complex. Like, we gotta help them help them. No, but short kings, short kings usually have a great personality because they have to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, that's okay, okay. That's no, 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 no. Up. Let me just, I feel like on social it. media, in real life though, like if you're a short king, like you can find a girl. Like there's like plenty of times that that has happened. Like it's not like you're doomed. For sure. But I've on seen the internet, 
it seems like you'll never find a girl because of all the jokes. But like in real life, short kings will. Yes, they'll and, be fine. And I believe there's a contingency of women out there that love short men, especially yes, tall women that love short of men. Of course. Yeah. But just have Not a great per- just have a great personality though and get your money up. Definitely. See? <laughs> you see? You, you, you tried to sneak pick, that you last have, one in there. Out of three, you have to pick two. You tried to sneak you can't that. Ha- you can't be lacking in every single area. <laughs> okay, tell like, them the whole truth, okay? But this whole time, what? like, I have been weighing hairlines on a massive scale, and it's not even that bad. Honestly, like, that's the they crazy thing. They love Pac. What? <laughs> they did. He was extremely handsome. See that? But like, same on, like we could, we don't even know. Like we can't even tell. Honestly, like we can't even tell. What? what like, tell? like hairline, this hairline, that. Like we can't even tell. Y'all sound like how so we sound when it come to like no, um weave y'all, and stuff like that. Y'all can tell. You can look you know at a, a you, can, you can look at a man and be like, yo, his shit look a little off. <laughs> look a little off. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, if it's like terrible. <laughs> only only when y'all get into a fallout, that's when oh, she, that starts she brings telling, it up. Yeah, she might yeah. just start telling that nigga the truth. <laughs> she be like, yeah. that's why. Like, yeah. yeah. But then why why you guys are dating? She's like, I love your bald head. <laughs> <I'm crying. laughs> and she like kisses it and shit, but now she yeah. And then every time y'all yeah. on a break, she's dating a nigga with a strong ass hairline. <laughs> like the best hairline. Like, what the fuck? Yo, save on a random question for you. What up? Talk to you. You ever had a shorty rub your baldy? Of course. What that feel like? He said, "Of course." Of course. Yes. Of course. What that feel like? Yeah, it, it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> it feel good. That was a good answer. It feel good. Yeah. Wait, is it like just the hand, or does she put like you know a little bit lotion? of everything? You know, a little oh, bit of whatever on. they want to do with it. Come you on. Know? My that's head is your head. My head is your head. Aww, you know that <laughs> sounds <laughs> intimate and sweet. Nah, that's a great question. <laughs> uh, Alex asks if that's your version of foreplay. <laughs> nah, that's that's my version of like when w- women uh, rub their hands through Alex's beard. <laughs> my head is like his beard okay Alex you are the first person that I've ever seen carry a pick for their beard yeah they like that to get their shit no, that's actually, the first person that I've seen I, get I'm outside, not, I'm not, I'm not don't, no 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 don't, be, don't like a lot of people do that yeah cause you know I got very kinky shit so two hmm? three hours in it <laughs> Kinky, kinky hair beard. Uh, isn't that like a bearded person thing like you carry something to comb yeah, your beard for something? sure well, you know um I ain't gonna shoot. Uh-huh. I ain't gonna yeah, shoot. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Savon, nah, these come are, on, let's nah, go. These are I, beard activities what we only. Do. <laughs> you, you almost did. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's fine. You, you almost, almost did. did. Like, Stop. As long as you I don't did. shrink in height, yeah, there's good. nothing anybody can say to you. me that's gonna hurt me. I'm with you. There's nothing. Okay, it, but I I'm want Teflon. you to I want you to mean that though, Savon. No, I'm serious. I need you to mean that. I'm standing on it. Say it with confidence. I'm gonna keep watching these short niggas get ridiculed on online to make my confidence better. Like shout to the short kings, yo. Salute, salute. I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of short kings with baddies though. For sure. I'm, I'm not saying. about to sit here and lie. Sure. Cap, I've For seen sure. it. I was hating in the corner. Like, yo, For shorty sure. look like my height. Fuck she doing with him. But I digress. <laughs> and it's not even me. It's just what I witnessed. I just wanted mm-hmm. to bring it to the plat like to the platform. No. It's the, I don't so have a problem with anybody. I don't have a problem with short people. <laughs> Reggie don't believe you. Reggie don't believe you. I don't. I you're believe like, you. Like, I don't have a problem with short men. <laughs> I, 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 I really don't. Nah, just athletes, right? Yeah. Do we have? <laughs> yep. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to ask. Yeah. Cats have half out the bag. Boom. Uh, you sure, Reggie? What? You don't want to ask? Um, I want to ask the listeners, did you guys get your mixer tickets yet? Oh, Hello. shit. Hello. So by the time you guys are watching this, I'm sorry, but we're not even joking teasing this is not like a marketing tactic <laughs> you guys literally sold out the early bird tickets wow. way ahead of schedule wow. okay i've never seen an organization close down the mixer tickets in five days like us but you guys just were very excited very supportive and i'm sorry we got to do it you guys sold it out yeah i was pushing for the early bird special the discounted price because i thought it was a good you know get pe- give people the chance to get at a good price right. but <sighs> too much no please pay regular price guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came flooding in, and we appreciate but the, you. I love the excitement. Yeah, August seventeenth, we in the building, open yep. bar, come vibe with myself, Alex, and Reggie. Uh, some of your favorite podcasters, they will be in the building. It is a rooftop. Mm-hmm. It is in Brooklyn. It is summertime. It is magical. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see all of y'all. Yeah, and again, excited. like uh, Reggie said, y'all excitement really has me excited because none of us anticipated for y'all to buy in the ways that y'all did. No, honestly, because last year's was really successful and the tickets didn't even sell at this rate. So yeah. I'm very excited to see what the outcome's going to be. Oh my God. Like. And as always, yeah. you know what's important to us. Oh. The ladies show up. I mean, oh, yes. the, the ladies are, the, 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 I mean, the, yes. have y'all seen the list? I've, I've peeked at it. You peeked at it. Fellas, y'all don't want to miss this one. <laughs> 
He got a little shy. He was like, oh. All right. So, nope. as always, you can find that information in any description on any website that uh, is affiliated with the Need mm-hmm. to Know podcast, yep. um, including this episode. So, if you're interested in Mixer tickets, again, that is August 17th. Make sure y'all save the date. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I know I'm going to have a whole bunch of homies in there. Alex go have a whole bunch of homies in there. Yep. Reggie go so have her crew with her in there. It's going to be a really, really good time. So, come kick it with us. Again, that is August 17th. Teenth, um, and if you short, please pull up. Nah, slide. <laughs> if you short, please. it's true. Pull up. Find your queen. Yo, oh my god! If you're short, Find please pull up, and we'll take a short picture together. Nah, <laughs> so y'all ridiculing them. Nah, Don't do that. Yeah, no, no, I'm being. Why do you think I'm ridiculing her? Huh? Oh my fault. You, I'm projecting. No, I'm being. Oh, I'm being. Oh, I'm being, dead, being dead, ass. dead ass because I look so like <laughs> short in every picture because everyone's always taller than me. Got but you. now I, I have my people. Got whether you. a man or a woman, we don't discriminate. Say, yeah, yeah, Bond and I won't take pictures with you, so it don't look bad. Nah, so salute. Oh my god, I love taking pictures of them because I make them look very tall, you and did. I love that for them. Hey, hey yo, chill. What's up? No, with you? but you guys are tall. Ah, uh, yeah. Throw the, add that in there. I just told you. But I you guys did, are new, tall, but I make you. you look like seven foot next to me. Every time I see a nigga that's six five, I just start stretching. Like that shit is unfair. Anyway, meet us over at Patreon as well. Need to know podcast. Oh man, I, I promise y'all, we literally have recorded new episodes for Patreon. They are going to be released concurrently, meaning from week to week to week. Um, head over to need to uh, head over to patreon.com slash need to know pod and uh, you can find those episodes uh, this time we're really going to be consistent we promise Reggie's laughing but we're serious <laughs> no no, no I was thinking, I'm sorry to distract yes. you but I was just thinking of a transition but I kept it to myself sorry. nah go okay, ahead let, 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 no, let's keep talking about no, Patreon I'm cool that's all I wanted them to know literally we have yeah. episodes in the tuck we're not going to abandon you guys like For literally real. it's happening we're not we're going to be consistent yeah We've been filming in our hot ass rooms for the past two <laughs> months for you guys on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Just Burning. for you guys. And every episode has been good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoy them. Yeah. We kind of get introspective on there. Funny. Same. And uh, yeah. Okay. More of us. Am I allowed to transition? Because I'm dying. Please. Okay. So speaking of short kings. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's how you feel. Nah. Nah. You know a J. Cole fan the in the building. Nah. There's something happened over the week for breakfast? Weekend. You know a J. Cole fan in the building. <laughs> Wait, why? Shoot what like what about my breakfast? Nah, you on, you hitting the day. Oh, thank yeah, you. You, you show. I love when they laugh at my jokes. Yeah, nah. I laugh every week. <laughs> <laughs> you sharp today. You sharp today. Which uh, short king are you alluding to, Reggie? Um, Sean Evans. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so Kendrick Lamar. No, no, I can't do it. I feel bad now. Is he even that short? Nah, yeah, but he's size uh, seven. Yeah, no, he do. He said he wear like an eight and a half nine. That's what Drake <laughs> said. What the fuck? <laughs> no, that's what Drake said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drake said he wear size seven. Yeah, but he's like eight and a half. How the fuck you big seven with a size? Seven but anyway, yeah, we're not even gonna rehash that. <laughs> uh, Kendrick, we didn't get a chance to cover it last week because mm-hmm. we recorded on a Monday. Uh, Ken and Friends, the pop out show, it was legendary. Yeah. Uh, I had FOMO for the very first time in a very long time. I never look at crowded places of festivals and concerts and be like, oh my God, I need to be there. Mm -hmm. I had that. I had that. And also, not only did I have FOMO, but as somebody who grew up on the East Coast, um, I was jealous. Of their like collective culture, right? I was super jealous that we don't have that, um, that I don't see us having that camaraderie, community, mm-hmm. um, and just unity. Mm-hmm. It, it was on full display, and it was a, a, amazing to watch. And I'm also pissed off because I can't even understand it mm-hmm. as a New Yorker. I don't understand all the different cliques and colors and right. shit that's on that stage and just how powerful it was. It takes the the people like the DJ heads. It takes the people from the West Coast Mustard. to really break that down and say, yo, this was monumental beyond what y'all saw on Amazon Prime. Like, yeah. if you're from here, you know exactly what that was. And my jealousy is also a sense of pride and just being happy to, of being a part and a fan of the culture. But as a New Yorker, it's like, damn, we will never have that. And I'm happy for them. I don't know about that. Like, I understand, like, what you're saying. Like, the it was literally... I could not imagine being from LA right now, like how proud I would feel. Mm. But I do agree that the East Coast, specifically like New York, like it might not be that way now, like the collective culture, collective culture feeling. But like, let's not act like New York doesn't have that though. Like a we don't. culture. We like don't. I think they, not, I think New York has culture. I, I think he's talking like a sense of unity. Like community. And, and community. Yeah, community. And camaraderie. And not for nothing. Like I don't know. I feel like not right now, but it like could, it maybe if you see Brooklyn, if you see maybe. Brooklyn in the summertime, like mm. back in the day, like yes, there is absolutely a strong New York culture. Like, let's not act like there's No, there is a strong New York culture. Mm -hmm. Like, the culture is strong. 
but there's not somebody who could unify all of the different boroughs and all of the different towns and whatever set like there's we don't have that we don't have the one because new york decided to segregate and the powers that be didn't really pass down anything mm-hmm. from a new york standpoint whereas la has always stood together because they always felt like they had to compete they always felt slept on or however they feel i don't even want to talk for anybody on the west coast but you can just tell over the last 20 30 years especially in hip-hop in particular that they took a different route a different approach um and their leaders they're 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 yeah they're leaders so just say it i think there's a little bit more structure when it comes to that in la uh that's probably like the biggest difference between new york and la like new york got a bunch of gangs a bunch of sets but i don't and i'm not gonna speak for all, all people that bang or whatever but see the camaraderie that we saw on that stage that's that's something nipsey was trying to do for the longest throughout that wow, that's a good point. right and Nipsey even did it again for his unfortunate passing, right? We saw all these yeah. people unite these different sets. So the casual aisle watching that pop up Kendrick show, you probably just saw colors, mm-hmm. right? You just saw probably just different black people, which is beautiful and it was dope. Bro, you had different sets up there who probably had tons of issues with each other. For sure. Right? And you're, you're right. In New York, that's really difficult to do. Mm-mm. Aside from that, that was hip hop. I know that term gets overused a lot, but. What I witnessed at that Kendrick pop-up show, I wish I was there as well. You're right. I do envy the people in that room. And granted, we on the East Coast, but that was hip-hop. Down to the culture in the room, the unity, um, shit, the breath control from Kendrick Lamar, right? Even, even the fact that he had no backtrack while he was performing. We were able to hear every single word, even if he slipped up and messed up. So yeah, to, to, to your point, man, I, I was jealous too. I think I'm like too. what gets me is like I've been to like a lot of concerts and we've been to like sporting events and stuff like that. Like what you know is like the video never does it justice, like being there in person. Mm-hmm. So like watching the video, the Amazon live stream, which was the real MVP, by the way, like even yeah. watching that was amazing. But so I can't even imagine what it was like in person to be there. Like, I, I know honestly. I can't even fathom like what that felt like. No, literally. And when I was watching it, you know, you started with euphoria. He went in the DNA, he went in the element, he went in the all right, he went in the swimming pools, he went in the money trees. I'm just mentioning this to make a point at the end of this. He went in the win with J-Rock, King's Dead, 616 in LA, Collard Greens, that part, King Kunta. It goes on and on and on. I think a lot, I've heard a lot of people a little bit confused with his song selections. But if you listen real close enough, a lot of those songs were lines that he probably directed at Drake over the years. Mm. Right? Like his whole set list to me just sounded like, yo, this wasn't nothing new, y'all. Right, so that was super impactful for me to watch, and just to kind of culminate the 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 moment, right? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, y'all, like, just in case y'all thought this is something new, it really ain't. Even if you don't understand what's going on, I'm gonna make sure you do in a different way. He, he didn't play Meet the Grams, right? He didn't play Meet the Grams. I think he he knew the energy would be a uh, too solemn. Yeah, <laughs> it got real dark in there. Yeah, real, real, real dark in there, real fast. But his point long. is like, yo, this is not just about not like us, but it's about like what I've been trying to say for the last decade yeah, about this man. Exactly. Yeah. And it, it just speaks to the artist that he is. Um, and the Gemini that he is. Sorry. When, <laughs> for sure, for sure. What do you mean by that, love? Just like, yeah. just like having this very strong hatred for years and being very calculated about it and like very motivated. Wow. I do know someone that, uh, that's a Gemini that like moves with, like that. With vengeance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they'll keep it to themselves. Mm-hmm. Why you smile? Don't out niggas. <laughs> Don't out niggas. If this is an audio. Nobody can hear it. Like, nobody they, but they can, can see us. Smile. He nobody, was holding they can something see us. so bad. They can see us. I didn't say anything. Us. I didn't say anything. <laughs> they can but see what us. I will say <laughs> about, um, you know, just that whole, that, that whole performance. Yeah. Like you said, there was so many things to break down. And I feel like at this point, um, it happened a week ago at the time mm-hmm. of this episode recording. So maybe we don't have to go like super deep dive right. into it. Uh, but speaking about some of the highlights and again going back to the community thing what really stuck out to me is at a time when you know hip-hop because hip-hop still relatively new in the grand scheme of fucking life like life yes you know what i'm saying yeah so the biggest thing for me when i thought about it compared to new york and again it's not an east coast versus west coast thing it's just a comparison thing it's like all right in my region because i've been comparing the bar has been atlanta in the south let me not even just say Atlanta, but the bar has been the South for the last, what, decade, 15 years. The mm-hmm. South has kind of been pushing the needle. You've seen a lot of uh, camaraderie, community, collaborations, all of that. 
very present in the South. So that's where I've kind of been looking. The West, they've been, they just stay consistent. They just do them. They do and then they, they do, get man. moments like this and you're like, holy shit, they've been building this for so long because the people at the front of their genre always pass the baton. You get what I'm saying? Going all the way back to NW day, uh, NWA days, uh, Dr. Dre, Dre yeah. Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, all of the guys from the Bay, E-40s, like they always kind of pass the baton to the next guy. New York stopped passing the baton because we started competing with each other. And so that's why I think we can't do something like this today. Not because we don't have the talent, not because um, you know we don't have the artists, but there was a certain point in West Coast, East Coast, whatever, in the progression where the, the leaders, the Jay-Zs, the Diddy's, the 50 Cent's, it came more about themselves than it was about passing on game for whatever the reason may be, right? Business. When I think of New York, I think of business. Yeah. Jay-Z, 50 Cent. And Jungle. Formerly Diddy when he was, you know, in that race. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, it was just nice to see that in the West Coast. Yeah, and you, you mentioned this earlier. The West Coast doesn't sway from what they do. They don't, and I love it. That was the most impressive part to me because Many other states, many other territories have tried to mimic other regions in an effort in trying to gain a new fan base or just stay relevant or stay current, right? So to see them just put their flag in the soil and year after year just come out with the sound that they want to put out and produce, that was eye-opening, even down to the smaller acts on headset. Like, that shit fucked me up. I can't lie. Yeah. It, it, it was great. It was a great time. Um, Alex, you've been doing the science for a very long time. Word. I, I want to give I you your credit. I want to give you your credit. We try. Um, because you actually kind of let something fly under the radar a few months ago. You should have brought it to this podcast. I think I did. I wish you did. I think I did. But you didn't. I did. Because. Oh, I definitely spoke about this. You forgot. A slap, homie. <laughs> it's part of the reason why when we were mentioning who could help Drake, you know, uh, when we were having, you know, debates between Kendrick and Drake, who could help him? And I was like, well, I know maybe not Beyonce right now. <laughs> Cause I remember all of this. Like you're you're referencing the time when um, Drake had just released uh, the what's the honestly uh, never mind honestly never mind right the dance album mm -hmm. and there's a song on there called Sticky of course that was the hit we gon fuck up the world excuse me but is that your girl didn't mean to express your girl anyway uh, I think like a month or two passes and Kendrick puts out a feature on Beyonce's song and he puts out like a Lucy with his Little cousin, Baby Keem. On the hook with Baby Keem, I'm going to go into that one now because we just heard the shots that he directed at Drake on there, right? Like, I failed to mention that I would smack homie. He, he mentions Universal. These are all things pertaining to the beef that, um, that was dealt with just now. But on the Baby Keem song, it sounded like they were mocking, we gone, fuck up the world, excuse me, but is that your girl? And that was interesting to me because mm -hmm. when I heard it, I was like, Okay, I know y'all are not cool, but are you trying to troll Drake? Are you trying to are you trying to say, hey, I can make the music you can make. I just choose not to, and this is how I feel about it. Let's hear it. Yeah, go ahead. So that was Drake's version. I'm sticky. And then hmm. Uh... Hmm. That's pretty undeniable. Back to the pop-up concert, right? And when I looked at the track list, I think he wanted to remind folks, this is nothing new. I've been feeling this way for a very long time. And this is probably the culmination concert mm -hmm. to kind of like prove it. <laughs> that is so crazy. Imagine you had a rap beef with somebody and he did this. Like, I cannot, I, I cannot imagine. I'm a little sad because I don't know if the next generation of rappers can do this. And when I say do, I don't mean in terms of talent. 
sure, I, Kendrick. The Andrew, impact, the impact. Just the impact, or even just leaving you little nuggets, right? Just leaving little nuggets on a yeah. feature. Oh, you mean this whole journey? Yeah, this the whole, whole journey. Not, not just the concert, no. but the whole. It's like, yes. It's like Yo, some we Marvel are spoiled. shit. We're spoiled. It's like some Marvel shit. Real talk. It's like when Iron Man yeah. 1 came out in 2007, <laughs> yeah. and then Endgame was in 2021, mm -hmm. and you had to see yeah. every single movie. You had to see every yes. uh, single series. You had to kind of put things together. Like, yeah. that is what this buildup was, because it's almost inevitable. It's a perfect story. Yeah. It's almost too good to be true when the titans of this episode Era, it took so long for them to get to this point. Yeah, like it's like a some somebody had to write this. That's how great this shit feels. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes. And yeah. and and yes. for Kendrick to go about it in the way that he has, and I think one of the coolest things about this whole shit, he hasn't said outside of not like us, he hasn't said Drake's name one time. Except it's his stage. actions. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's how he moves. It's what he stands for. It's the way. Like one of the lines that stick out to me so much that um. Drake said throughout this beef was when he said he gets more uh, love in the city that Kendrick's from, meaning he LA. He sounds so Can't insane. Can't believe he said that. You and, know what I'm saying? I love Drake. He, I can't believe um, he said that. That wasn't even just like one line. <laughs> that was like kind of his theme throughout a couple of the verses. Like yeah. he was acting like, yo, you know LA fucks with me, right? Like Drake was saying that and this, and he's kind of, not even only that, saying like, Kendrick, you're not that guy in LA anymore. He was kind of like alluding to that. Mm -hmm. Damn. I don't think Ken Kendrick could have showed that any better. And like, then he was like, oh, wait, you think I don't get love in my own city? Like, oh, watch this. All right, I'm going to pull up with real members, not work for hires. <laughs> That's very different. <laughs> Pulled up with Bloods, Crips, Hoovers. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you think I'm not sanctioned? Let me show you how I'm yeah. really sanctioned. Like, oh, my God. I, also, I he him. mentioned um, Drake tried to like dangle in his face, like, oh, you know who, who really bangs? YG. YG was at a Kendrick's concert. Yeah, like, right. he yeah. looks crazy. I think a lot of times people take uh, Kendrick's demeanor, you know, seem like he's soft spoken or, and um, just kind of like not really like bashful or in your face. I think, I think a lot of people take that for like, oh, yeah, you're weak. You're not really like doing much. Mm -hmm. I see but, what you're like, saying. Yeah, he's really. And super calculated. Mm -hmm. I'm super that. calculated, but I don't think he's super confrontational as well. Yeah. Like uh, there were some people that were missing from the concert who people have mentioned. I think mo the most notable person is the game. The game. game. Uh, For sure. I, I remember 2011, Kendrick is doing like the Chitlin Circuit and Snoop, the game are on stage culminating. Shit, they even have a song together. They have done music together. Mm -hmm. So to not see him in attendance was a little weird. Since then, the game has issued out a response to the internet and to why he wasn't there. Uh, you guys could probably find it somewhere. It's just like 12 minutes long, but it's just something along the lines of, y'all yeah, know I'm from Compton. I'm never going to leave Compton. Um, I, I didn't want to go. He, it sounded like he was still in support of Drake mm -hmm. because, you know, his loyalty. Uh, he, he just wanted to be known that his loyalty sides with whoever's loyal to him. Mm -hmm. um, that was interesting to me. I just felt like those would have been one of those moments you really want to pop out. I mean, I'm sure Show he did. I, I'm sure he did. But yeah. for whatever reason, game just seems to keep being on the outside looking in when it comes mm -hmm. to these type of moments. Mm -hmm. uh, first, it was the Super Bowl. When I, I kind of understand that a little bit more. It's limited, yeah, it's limited time on the Super Bowl. You already had about four or five acts on the bill. Right. So I, I could understand that a little bit more than I can this because this was the culture. Yes. This was the hometown, the home team. This was all of those sets. This was yes. Compton. They even had the alternative niggas out there. I shout wish to, you knew. Shout out to Steve Lacey. <laughs> I wish you knew. Tyler, the creator. I know. Come on now. Yeah. yeah and also, yeah. that Tyler performance was a sweet treat oh my god i Earthquake. love yo you guys rewatch the video Please. when he i love when he like gets on great. stage and he hits that pose oh my god that I was love great it. but um from my friends that were there they said out of obviously kendrick um anything uh besides like not kendrick related the person that got the loudest cheers was allegedly tyler and mm. i think that is so amazing i it love that for be. him it I should be it. that mm -hmm. was good i didn't know steve lacy was from compton <laughs> <laughs> don't judge a book by his cover, y'all. Is he from Compton? He from Compton. Oh, he sanctioned. I didn't know that. I, know that. I, love, I love that for him. He with them ones. I didn't know that. Y'all better stop judging the book by his cover before y'all get surprised. I cannot, like, <laughs> think of... I don't... I mean, yeah. not even for, like, the next generation. Like, just well, in general, in the scope of time. I don't know how... Not to be dramatic, but, like, mm -hmm. how could anybody top this? Because, I like, don't know. Kendrick, he obviously... The youngins love him. They were, like, mostly the ones in the, in the the on the ground, like, in the pit, yeah. like, cheering. So he has a young crowd. People like Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, everybody was like, Kendrick, you are the one. Everyone unanimously saying like he's the king. Oh, yeah. Snoop was so in. like who can ever surpass? I'm just really trying to think like what can anybody do that will be this great? Like 
watching what, like, this and, and seeing how everything kind of played out, it cemented his spot in the top five for me. Yeah. And this I, is I, what did it? I, I, I haven't. I <laughs> Was haven't, he not? No. He, he wasn't? No. I, I, no. Oh. He wasn't in my top five. He was in my top 10. Okay. Uh, for sure. Like top five what? I think he's top <laughs> five all time. Oh, you have him top five all time. Yeah, God, yeah, just, that's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, what, what, what did you I think? I'm about like in terms of like the 2010s or like his class. Of- oh no, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry for anybody. I'm not yeah. talking about like the blogger. I'm talking. Got you. I, I, I'm yeah. I think he's top five all time. I'm not mad at this. Top five all time. I haven't even really thought about mad at it. where my top five or what my top five. But it's undeniable because mm-hmm. this is literally this is hip hop. Mm-hmm. That was hip hop. This. It's so crazy how he went about it because not only did he pull himself up, but Drake got to come down a few slots. And Drake is exposed now for not necessarily looking and feeling, maybe not even fuck looking. He's not feeling hip hop through this whole exchange. I think that was, um, that was why this was so powerful because you know how people were making jokes on Twitter like, damn, like yeah. he really united everybody out of hate for Drake. Like, yeah. yes, that, that's funny, but also <laughs> like, I think the overall scope of it was more about how much people love Kendrick and how much people love hip hop. It wasn't solely about yes. everyone's mutual hatred for Drake mm-hmm. because I get to, like I can guarantee you a lot of people on the stage don't hate Drake, but like yeah, everybody mm-hmm. being united for their love for K Dot and L A yep. and hip hop is what's what makes it so beautiful. And another reason why I didn't care about what is true or what was false in the um, diss tracks, Dave Free produced the show. Oh yeah, Whitney was in was the crowd. There. You, you, you see where I'm getting at now? Like, when it's time to violate, <laughs> everybody's going to get... Everybody, Just do it. Just everybody's going to get vile. Yeah. So I don't give a fuck what's true and how did it land? What it, You know, what was very impactful to do, you know? I do wonder, like, seeing Bron up there for me, or not, he didn't go on stage, but seeing Bron there for me kind of made me feel like, oh, wow, I wonder how, like, Drake's, Drake kind of sees this. Because he's After his man, Drake, yeah. Yes, he's been on the shop. <laughs> Drake was the... Uh, LeBron was the one that kind of got Drake to chill out and not really say much to um yeah. to to push a T uh you know after he said the whole blackface and you know revealed that he had a kid thing so that was kind of funny funny to me to see nah he he beefing with the whole NBA now <laughs> DeMar DeRose was in there yeah. James Hart again I know these are Cali guys though yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. of course they would want to be Westbrook a, but that yeah, was Westbrook. I feel like that yeah. was the point like it's deeper than what it is that you think it is Drake yeah. that's, even down that's, to basketball you get what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. even down to, even to the culture of basketball DeMar yeah. DeRozan right, right. was a Toronto exactly right. legend yeah, exactly yeah. you get what I'm saying he yeah, played yeah. for the Raptors he was Toronto yeah. for yeah, a very long time they so got they, his ass out of there they did they did Yeah. but that makes it even more impactful to mm-hmm. see him openly be on that stage. It's like, yeah, sure. he played in Toronto and yeah, he represented, he was the face of that city for a very long time. Yeah. And when he was out there, you was the sixth guy and he was wearing the six jerseys and mm-hmm. everything was all <laughs> lovely, right? Yeah. But in real life, the roots is, I'm the culture. Yeah. Damn. Mm. Damn. When it's really Damn. time to go there, like oh, it's you, it's me. Oh, and you, you don't, don't took that Drake cape it. off. You don't took that Drake cape. No, 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 no. Huh? I'm just oh. speaking facts. Oh. <laughs> I'm just speaking facts. I'm just speaking the facts. Just keep it real. Keep it real. I like it. I, I just gotta yeah, be yeah, honest. I'm not, I'm not here to sit here and like there's a lot of people on the internet that yeah. sound and look crazy. Mm-hmm. That's the other thing that's made me realize. Like there are this blind bias. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For on sure. both sides, not just Kendrick. No, 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 both sides. There's blind bias. I don't ever want to be that person no. in life in anything like i'm gonna I'm say something right now you know i know a lot of people that watched our coverage of put of uh, kendrick and drake think i'm a fucking kendrick stan which is just <laughs> not true like for years they've honest called me a drake one oh yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> but i'm a type of dude i like keeping it tall mm-hmm. last week i said hey if drake had the same bag he could pull from that kendrick pulled from i'd be calling drake the victor this week i'm coming in and saying dr drake got a funny case too <laughs> <laughs> I'm, t- I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it tall. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna type of nigga. I'm yeah. gonna keep it tall every yeah. single time. Yeah. That was probably the one thing I was looking at. Like, oh, I know he, he a Cali legend. I get it. I get it. The- <laughs> but it's like, but it's hey, <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> hey, like, uh, uh. so again to your point, I don't, I don't want any of us to get to that point. We should be able to identify what's facts and what's just false, yeah, quickly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be interesting. To see, it's gonna be interesting to see Drake's reply. Yeah, that's, that's where I want to go that, to. Like, say it. Where? Say it. Like, he has to get. <laughs> what? What? Where? Where does he go from here? <laughs> like, o- what is gonna happen, Alex? OVO Fest has to be diabolical. Okay, okay, that, okay. I'm glad you said that because yeah. 
Yeah. Our whole point was like Kendrick is the one person who could fucking do something like this to this magnitude in a city. Yeah. The culture, hip hop. But like Drake, I don't think I don't think he could do something like this. I, I mean, at least in the world of hip hop though. Yeah. Like in Toronto, or, like bring out all the Toronto people. Like, I don't know. If he can't do that to the same level, he just has to be the utmost petty person he's ever been in his life. I don't yeah. know how he achieves that. I don't know how he does that. I, I really don't. I don't know because the beef was a time to do that and he did not yeah. put his be- best foot forward. So, he, But he did him, but Kendrick did him like how Drake did Meek at OVO Fest mm-hmm. however many years ago that was. Mm-hmm. Your OVO Fest has to be some sort of response. I don't know how. I just feel like, like and I, I know we've been talking about this shit, but it yeah. is fascinating. This is our era, so fuck it. Let's spend time on this shit. Right. I do feel like Drake didn't update his iOS. <laughs> Legit. Because he tried yeah. to use the same, same firmware, the same exact strategy with Kendrick as we've seen him do against others. Right. Even going back to how he tried to create division within Top Dog and Kendrick, mm-hmm. right? And his wife. The push-ups that that the the oh entire my God, remember premise. Remember that push-ups. The, <laughs> the premise was drop and give me fifty, talking for Top Dog, like yeah. trying to create that division. But then you see Top Dog on the video shoot yep. at the video shoot <laughs> for not like us standing right. behind Kendrick, right. not yeah. saying a word. After and how many times do you see label heads support an artist once the artist leaves their label? <laughs> Directly mm-hmm. after. Mm-hmm. Kendrick is not TDE anymore, Mm -hmm. but TDE was still very, very much present and vocal with their support, despite everything that Drake was saying on push-ups, to try to create whatever narrative, to try to create whatever division, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work. So I think Drake's next move, it has to be, and this sounds fucking cliche, but it has to be, it has to be hip hop. You you have to be honest. You 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 can't right. do the song and dance or social media, in my opinion, at least. No, you're right. I'm no, not you're like right. fucking the hip-hop like, man. But. The acting like you unbothered, and hey, he very well could not be unbothered. We are not Drake's conscience, nor do we live with him. We don't know what he feels like. But every time I see Kendrick do something like, oh, they announced that the concert's coming up. Here you go with a goofy picture on the gram. Or here you yeah. go on this feature from Camilla Cabello. Like so reactionary. This nigga, my boy Drake, oh, my dog, that's my dog. For This nigga Drake said, yo, you went and go do songs for the whites just for him to get featured on Camilla Cabello joint. <laughs> it's got to be hip hop. I think this is the first time I'm standing alone on this island. But yeah. when you guys say like, I think his next move has to prove that he's hip hop. Mm-hmm. I don't I just feel like this was just so bad and so glaringly like I like this is hip hop and honestly we don't feel like you are yeah. it mm. in this realm anymore right. and it was just so massive. Mm. I think Drake should just gracefully take this L and he is still <laughs> the best hit maker of our my generation. Undeniably. So I do think he Undeniably. should just kind of like gracefully take the L and not trying to keep fucking proving to people that yo yeah, yeah I'm hip hop I am hip hop like Make the if you do want to do the Car- Caribbean hits, the 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 versatile hits. Like I feel like he should kind of just like delve more into that bag instead of trying to you know. You know what I'll add to that, I, but I don't think it has to do with making music. Like if you don't do anything on some real hip hop shit, because to Reggie's point, maybe people just won't respect it because we just saw the performance Kendrick Lamar put on. You got to make folks miss you, dog. Mm. You have to. You have. It has to that get. That does to work. A, that does work. Real shit. Like it has to get to a point where fans are like. Damn, man, I miss Drake. I ain't had no new Drake in a couple months now. Like, and then to a point where it's like, whatever he releases now is gonna be highly anticipated. It's highly anticipated right now, but not as much because they're so they want to. There's been little things. There's like been the little sexy things. Red yeah, 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 there's been things in between. Just let him miss you, and he'll get everything he looks. Because we will feel that absence. Like that. It's hard when you it's got hard, ego. Yeah, yeah. Or just come, oh, yeah, yeah, come yeah. clean. Or just what? say I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm a pop star. Nah, he just, can't. Just come clean. Know, he can't. Just come nah, clean. That kills the image. He, he would that's, say that. Just I, that, like that kills the image. But sometimes people do love a good rebrand. You know, so, yeah. a Listen, vulnerable guys, rebrand. Yeah. Obviously, y'all know what I did in rap. Whatever the case may be. <laughs> but I'm on to this next phase. I go, go to acting. Write a two week letter. Get, get back to acting. <laughs> two week I don't know. I'm serious. Like <laughs> rebrand. Nah. In real life, I love when people do that. Like when they're <laughs> honest and shit. But with Drake and who he is and who's against him, I don't think that's gonna yeah, land. He's too much of a hip hop, uh, just a hip hop icon. 
and just do that with I that want, bravado too. <laughs> like I want to play. I gotta go bad. I gotta go bad against Drake. But how does a guy say what's the rules in a rap battle that had a ghostwriter before? That's not fair, dog. Like you let a dude music is killing. Had a ghostwriter now say what we could do in the dirt. Nah, dog, you gotta stay up there, and you're beautiful up there. We love you up there. <laughs> we do, but don't come down here. That's I, and that's, change the rules. That's that's it's wrong war, because yeah, it's war. It's war. Well, you can't expect in any type of warfare, any type, not just rap. Ain't no rules. Ain't no rules. Like you have to go into it knowing that anything can happen. That's why your best bet is to not engage. So stay what? away from beef at it's all costs if you can. With the elevated music, it's yeah, crazy. For sure. Yeah. Another thing I like from Kendrick's concert to, to that point, like Kendrick kept it at hate. <laughs> he didn't roll anything out. We didn't hear a new announcement for anything. And that was probably the most satisfying moment for me. Honest, that was refreshing. I, I think so. Yeah. Because we're always waiting like, hey, why do we see Kevin Hart so much? Boom. Because <laughs> we know he's promoting yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Kendrick not to use that concert as the moment. Wow. To roll new music out. You really stood on hate. Mm -hmm. I ha we have to respect that. I have to commend that. And he might get a fucking Grammy out of this, so yeah. Kendrick, Kendrick is over his mouth. mouth. Someone, Someone go ahead on my Grammy right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Drake, he cooked with that one. Yeah, he did. Yo, he <laughs> he looks he great. Cooked. He manifested another Grammy yeah. for, for Kendrick. Yeah. For dissing him. <laughs> that would put Kendrick and at 18. And trying to make 18. fun of him, but bro, like. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, another random thing that I liked mm -hmm, was, mm -hmm. that, yeah. well, we know that he played Not Like Us six times in a row, but like what I loved, I really, re no, it, I checked the notes. Oh, you checked, you checked? Okay. It, it looked like five, but it was actually six because they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Instrumental. But, yep, I mean, yep, I you're guess right. you're right. So, yeah, But right. like what he did was the first three times, three or four times, he did the, the A minor, that line, and the whole stadium was like chanting it, A minor, then that's when he restarted it. Yeah. But what I loved about that, he executed, speaking of him executing this perfectly he did that because well i don't know why he did it but what it did was like when people finally got to say they not like us for the first time it just felt so like out of body experience for everybody there yeah. and i feel like he pl planned that he knew what yeah. that would feel like so people mm -hmm. would scream it even louder yeah. it's about drake it's a diss directly towards drake like this is just such a master class yeah. and just like mastery like, this might be a reach but that was the same dance move drake was hitting yeah, in hotline blade yeah, that's not a reach yeah, that yeah. definitely was what oh, it was, was right? okay okay definitely. it looked yeah, pretty yeah. accurate yeah. I like, think with that's the, a reach the, it could be but no, it was no, similar I no, I don't, it was similar I don't it was similar that's just that. how he felt in the moment I don't put it no, past no, him no, 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 I don't think it's a reach because Kendrick does not dance like that like he doesn't do that and he's very calculated he does dance like that <laughs> you be, you pull, be dancing pull up, with him? Pull up one video of him dancing. You like be that. dancing with Kenny? Ken, Kendrick doesn't do this <laughs> like do on that. a regular basis, Steve. Uh, okay. right. I ain't I'll, never I'll, seen that nigga do that. <laughs> <laughs> that looked a little bit intentional, but it's, it's when you get to see, and it's one it. of those moments. Yeah. Is like um, when you just get to see a master at the highest level of his craft, and we kind of got to witness that in real time. We we continue to get to witness it, and the fact that he hits on all cylinders. Mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. the performance like you said alex mm -hmm. the breath control remembering Amazing. the lines changing the lines Amazing. with being intentional oh, yeah. while changing certain drank lines water while he was on the stage he, <laughs> did, he didn't he didn't nurture no, that no, no nutrition <laughs> like he was so ready for the moment no. that he didn't need it in the moment talk about locking come on say vaughn say that if motherfucking that's you what, what i'm, I'm saying told. yes <laughs> like he was that prepared for the moment yes the training whatever he does on his own spare time prepped him for this it, 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 it felt like some matrix neo shit like the one <laughs> like he, that's yes. what it was it that how like. amazing it that's was that's what yeah, it yeah. felt like yes that's what the images look like wait i have a question so i mean we're just talking about the detail does anyone like know about the glasses or was he just doing that because he just looks now, he so he looks now, so cute now me and him blonde we just <laughs> no 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 but he's out no everywhere else he does not wear glasses y'all yeah, want to know a secret and I was when a, you're on stage is a little fuzzy nah oh yeah but not, that's not what I wanted to spare. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a rapper, but I thought I couldn't make it because I wore glasses. <laughs> so every time I see, you know, lit niggas wear glasses and rap now, like I smile. Shout out like to Sexy, Sexy Red. Red. Shout out to Charlie. For me, shout out to Kendrick. Like, y'all making this shit, y'all making a nigga's dream come through. Y'all don't even know it. Aww. Nah, for real. Because they, they used to make it seem like you couldn't wear glasses as, as a rapper. Wait, I, I swear. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to yeah. get on topic. But you, yeah. didn't, you didn't want, like, contacts? Never that. Why not? Why not? I love that for you. I like to struggle. Oh, uh, okay. I don't support I that. I need to feel some struggle. Okay. Everything in my life can't be peaches and cream. That's why you work with me. 
Exactly. Amen. <laughs> you stupid. You said yeah. amen a little you too quick. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to Hold up. No, I'll say that to the person. Like, finally, somebody. <laughs> Can relate. <laughs> Yo, Karen in the back, like, oh my god, amen. <laughs> I need some sort of a reminder to let me know that. Life like, you is can't hard. have it all. Yes, yeah. I can't <laughs> have it all. No, so that's one of my calm reminders. Now, I did want to mention this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, this is go two ways because right, I'm gonna go with this one first. Um, there was a line on Euphoria. I think, yeah, I think it was Euphoria when Kendrick goes, "Only you like being famous," and that stuck out to me through the entirety of the battle, especially now at the concert and now that we saw footage and scenes from the Not Like Us music video that was filmed all throughout Compton, you get to see all these masses of people around Kendrick and you could kind of tell like, dude is kind of a bit of an introvert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in, in a sense, right? You could tell by his demeanor. Yes, absolutely. Now, of course, he's won the battle, right? But are there now expectations for Kendrick Lamar? Uh, are, are they if if their people are putting him at the same oh, position they put Drake saying. at? I've, I've mm-hmm. heard this conversation. Yeah, because they're like, yo, if you really want to get Drake out of here, you know you have to fill that void, right? No, you don't. You I continue don't think to yeah, be you. Exactly. You continue to be who exactly. you are. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You, you came, you saw, you conquered, and if you want to go back into obscurity, go ahead and then do that. What it is, and right. if not, if you do want to be a little bit more visible. We're going to welcome you with open arms, but mm-hmm. if that's not who he is, I don't think you have to try to imitate mm-hmm. what Drake was doing to be considered number one. Everybody has that moment. Everybody has that time. You get what I'm saying? And when Drake has had his time as the number one guy, right. he was very visible. But when Hove had his time, he was business oriented. He created um, trends. Like everybody kind of does it their own way when they're in that spot. So if Kendrick yeah. decides, hey, I'm going to do me the way that I've been doing me and I'm number one, I don't think there's any pressure for him to try to live up to I agree with that. Uh, imitating what Drake did while he was, you know, at the top of the game. Mm-hmm. I, I, I get the point that people are trying to make. Like, yeah. oh, if we don't have Drake, who's going to be like, who's going to fill that void? But like, I don't think people, I get the point that I'm trying to make, but like, I don't think people are going to be looking at Kendrick like, hey, make hits like Drake now. Like, you know, like, I don't think I, that's going to translate that directly. P, I'm going to let you go in a second, right? Because mm-hmm. don't forget that. Yeah. I don't think it's in terms of the music people are mentioning. I think but it's- how visible he is? Visibility. Output, right? I, I don't know. I think that's what people are really referencing. I don't think people are gonna expect yeah. that from Kendrick as much as we think we will. Got like you. we're gonna just let him because they've, like. they've accepted Kendrick Lamar for who he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. by yeah. now at mm-hmm. least, right? Yeah, sure. what you saying? No, I was just gonna piggyback off of what Reggie was saying. I think the only thing we see from Kendrick at this point, or in terms of what he does next, is only if Drake retaliates or comes out by saying something. I feel like Kendrick's the type to like. All right, I'm not going to necessarily start stuff, but if you start it, I'm damn well sure about to finish it. Yeah, he's definitely on that track. I just, how can Drake, like, what can, I'm just really trying to think, like, what could he possibly do? You know what he can do? What could he retaliate with? Like, you know, I don't know if he could retaliate, but what he can do is something that I feel Joe Budden did when they broke up with the Royal Mall split. What do you do? What I feel like Joe did was he just quadrupled down on output. Got you. I remember that. I think the volume, if Drake comes out with a unnecessary, like you said, you either go away and you really go away. Mm-hmm. Like, don't even do the little bullshit features or <laughs> try to catch one and then no. You either really, really go away, disappear, get low, stop posting your subs and right. Turks, right? right. Yeah. Leave. Right. Or, <laughs> you <laughs> or you just flood. Or you just flood. You just you 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 just outpace him. Because we know Kendrick's not going to try to keep up in that type of arena. Mm-hmm. Not think, that he can't, but he just hasn't shown that mm-hmm. he's willing to. If it's not like top, top quality with the output, do you feel like people would look at Drake even worse? He's so good that something's going to hit. Something's going to resonate. He's going to give and everything for everybody. Okay. And over time, if, if he does flood, because again, I feel like that's what Joe did. When he had the heat on him for you know the, the split between Joe, Rory, and Maul. There was a lot of heat on Joe. Joe lost oh, mad yeah. followers sure. and the fans, they kind of all chose sides. Some went this way, some went that way. Mm-hmm. But his strategy was, I am going to flood. I'm going to do two times a week and then I'm going to give y'all four episodes on the Patreon and then I might drop. Damn. Like he just flooded the, the markets in, in, in that way here. With, you know? yeah, with content. Make, exactly. Right, right, right. Exactly. I could see that. I could see that. Hmm. I think like regardless of how a phenomenal Drake's next drop is. Like, let's say it's like work with Rihanna, like level of amazingness. I think whatever he drops, people are going to be like, oh my God, this sucks. <laughs> you know what he also really needs? What's up? Which he hasn't gotten. 
support. I, I mean, but from who? Nobody has supported him. Name me three people who. Let's who, let's yeah. Let's name name three important people there in hip hop. That's what I'm okay, literally like, about because, to say. Thank you. You know what? We we already made this point on the pod. The baddies still support him. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, they don't care. Like, <laughs> like fuck, he still yeah. has a majority <laughs> of baddies, like his women, fan base yeah, who yeah. don't give a fuck about this yeah, rap no, beef. To be no. honest, but let's like talk about in the hip hop community who yeah. still supports him. Do we know? Like, yeah, Lil Yachty. Yay. We got Yachty. Why are you shaking your head? It's not moving the needle. No, you're right. I'm just saying who he got. I'm just saying who he got. I think Yachty knows that as well. He's like, don't look at me to be the one Drake savior. Like, the fuck? It's tough. And I'm sure Drake still doesn't know how many other people don't like him. What about um, Wayne? Do we know how he feels? We haven't heard. I don't want from Wayne. Honestly. Or Nikki. I think it's interesting how we haven't heard from him. Honestly, He's kryptonite right now, so you can't really like. If no, we really, can. if we really like analyze it, obviously LA done. He has no support in LA. <laughs> Even if you're from LA, don't show your support for. Well, I'm not gonna tell people what to do, but like LA, we got it. But like, I think we're look. underestimating like how many figures in like New York, the South, Toronto will just like be like, yeah, I support Drake. Yeah, you know. But, but to say Vaughn's point, who would who would who would the world care about? Like who we got, who's popping in New York right now? Cash Cobain, a Boogie, Ice mm-hmm. Spice. Like let's just say let's, we just going coast to coast. You mean popping or like respected? Like I, I, like I like a Jay Z, like a Jada Kiss. Like do we care saying. about that? Or are you saying like who's relevant? Right I don't want to bring up like Jay Z and them because they're not current. I love them, but I think their, but Jay-Z so, their support him. would be mean but a lot more. I don't think so. Than at this point, a not. newer artist. I don't, I don't think so. so. I'm gonna tell you why not because Ooh. they're they're not currently making music like yeah. that. I'm gonna be honest. But like, this is a hip hop conversation. It's not a current conversation. No, but they're tied. Right? No, 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 but who was yeah. currently making music that supported mm-hmm. Kendrick? It was just the overall yeah. LA I guess, support. I guess LA, right? But a lot of those all artists are also current. All right, let, me, let me break it down, right? Like, if Jay-Z come out and say, yo, y'all leave Drake alone. <laughs> like, <laughs> also, like, I'm just saying. Also, also, I don't know. No, 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 no. Parent shit, also, like... parent, it sounds like some parent <laughs> no, 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 shit. No, 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 yes. no. If, yes. if yes. Drake <laughs> threw a big-ass concert and he got Jay-Z <laughs> to do you. what Thank Dr. Dre did, <laughs> yeah. like, I see dead people. That one cosign. Right. Thank I you. feel like that would be fire. That's a lot different. That would be okay, fire. Yeah, I can see that. That's a lot different. And then also, it's not even just the younger artists. It's also their peers. Yeah. Which I think is even more impactful, like the DJ Musters, like the Metros, like the YGs, like their peers have even been vocal in this, where Drake yeah. doesn't have the elder statesmen saying anything on his behalf. He doesn't have the younger generation really saying anything publicly. And he doesn't really have any of his peers that have supported him in a way where it's moved the needle. I could be wrong because 21 Savages came out and supported Drake. Um, we expect that, just like Lil Yachty. No, I know, but- So it's not going to move the needle. But- but what I'm saying is, whoever is not on Kendrick's side, we're going to expect to big up Drake, right? No, because it hasn't happened. All right. That's not the point I'm making. I'm confused. What I'm saying is, um, fuck, I fucking forgot. He, yeah, I think you're saying no one current that's like still putting out stuff actually walked the plank and said, hey, like, Drake is like a meek male. The only person that nobody's going to care. That's my point. Nobody's going to care. The only person I think people would care about is Lil Wayne. Real talk. He's still <gasps> current oh. enough. He's still older enough. He's still respected enough. Like, what salute to Jay Z. Jay Z would come out the concert and be like, yo, and perform, but it's to an extent. What, 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 yeah. I'm sorry if this is random. I'm sorry if it doesn't land. Yeah. But what if, like, Young Thug made, like, a huge statement that was like, guys, I still fuck with Drake. You guys are really forgetting he's that guy. Boom. It has what to is that some, gonna do? No, it, I, and I, I, I love that you use Young Thug it's because tough. Young Thug has it's, it's culture around Young Thug, especially in Atlanta. There's a movement around Young Thug. There's been a movement around Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? So, future though, that, and, that's that's why it's tough. Like Future is probably just as massive. If no way, sure. he's beefing with Drip. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's oh, like shit. that's the only reason why I didn't <laughs> want to go to Atlanta. Like I brought up Twenty One Savage because I'm just thinking about like relevant people who people would care about. Like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. This person is current. This person is relevant. He's defending him. I don't know how many other people aside from Lil Wayne people would truly care about. Like, yo, he's supporting Drake. It's lit. I really don't know. All right, let me actually throw this in there too because yeah. the two people that we named for Drake was Lil Yachty and Twenty One Savage. Yeah. Right. And I agree. I think they, those have been the people who have supported him because I think 21 brought Drake out a few weeks ago at a concert. So yeah. clearly he's in support with Drake. The reason I don't think it lands or it hasn't really landed in that way is because 
they're they've worked together. We've seen that collaboration, right? Like they're 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 in business already. They're associated with each other. But in we some saw capacity. people from LA that associated with Kendrick no, and still supported. Ken, but Kendrick got like every, Tyler the Creator. Nah, no, but, you know but, but just to your point though, mm -hmm. like we saw people who have collaborated with Kendrick still come out and support, mm -hmm. just like a Twenty One Savage mm -hmm. or a Lil Yachty. You see what I'm saying? Whereas, like, but why is it not as an impactful? Like, what's What's the? Hmm. What is, it's almost, it's I think seeing like, like um, what Kendrick did on full display like that, like literally the product, yeah. like the execution, that's what made it so powerful. So like, but it was like strength and numbers too. But even like, before the show, Kendrick had that support. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> He's like, let's no, say it no, 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 it's, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, that yeah. I guess that's the answer. Like, it's <laughs> but yeah, it would have to be J Cole. To do what? I don't think so. To do I'm, what? I'm not. I just said it's not gonna happen. No, to do what? I don't know. To, to support, make that impact. To say I'm riding with Drake. <laughs> no, no, no. Say, well, it, I don't it, care. It, I don't it, think yeah. people would because Drake J Cole already looks crazy. They still, they still, they're still judging his hip hop yeah, car for he what he did for bowing out. out of the the fight. You think they would respect him for backing up Drake? They, they try yeah, to question so. his. They try he to question his. Especially because they entered they entered the beef together and like that wasn't like monumental right like and then that sh that partnership was not strong so if j cole came out today and made a statement that he still supports drake i don't know if that's gonna do anything honestly. it's really packed for him bro i it's, i don't see it i ain't gonna lie okay. it's all right. but lil wayne though okay. that has stuck out to me like a thumb i've what seen would... lil wayne support motherfucking sports niggas <laughs> throughout this beef as it's going on and not said a word about drake but what if, if wayne did that what would the messaging be like how can you drake galvanize... is my guy you know what I mean? It got to be some along the lines of, yo, I introduced y'all to Drake because I saw something, right? So if y'all love me, if I'm just as impactful in your life uh, as he is, make some love. Like, it just has to be something. Somebody has to say, fuck Kendrick. You can't just say, I support <laughs> no, and Drake. Then you also has, have to say, yeah, fuck Kendrick at this point. Land. Like, yeah, it has like, to land. It can't just be, hey, like, I, I love this guy. No, nigga, you have to stand on and say, no, I, feel I love him and fuck it. Kendrick. But I then, feel but then you got to the also way, be comfortable because with what happened? No, nah, I was just gonna say you also got to be comfortable with the fact that like now you're inheriting that beef also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like all sure. of the West Coast said, "Fuck Drake." <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta take it mm -hmm. on. I don't know, like I, I, I know I was like, oh my god, I don't know what the fuck Drake could possibly do from here. <laughs> but if we really think about it, he Kendrick did have all the LA people on his side and all uh, most of the hip hop figures, but like he also didn't have every single respected hip hop figure in existence on his side. Right. So maybe Drake, what he could possibly do one day, one day, like, and he has to execute it perfectly, is like he has to gather everybody, like the other Avengers. Like Kendrick has the Avengers, but Drake has to gather everyone and have like Drewski host it, like shit. Like, like he has to like do everything. Like he has to do, like, you know how like Kendrick, he brought yeah. like Roddy Rich. He brought like, he has to do fly. something like that. I don't think it's impossible. I'm not saying it's gonna be amazing, guys, because I know. It's tough. Like, yeah, like it's very tough. You're right because Kendrick has an entire region. Like when you just think about all the great acts that came out of LA and then they showcase them on that stage, you sit back and go, "Wow, so it's a ton of them. They're not like us." Like what producer can Drake even turn to? Not to get beats from, or just like speak out. What do you mean? Impactful support. It don't matter. That is a producer is not gonna be impactful and, enough. For and this and collaboration because. Metro Boomin, that was very impactful. And then the DJ Mustard, that is very impactful. Because they have and, hits on their own. And they like, have like, yeah. and then they have hits with Kendrick as well. And then the Dr. Dre, like you just hit all phases <laughs> of, it was of producer of support. It's like, yeah. what producer can we even name that may that's not balance the scale a bit to be like, oh, I fuck with Drake. Not this even, means something. Not even his bestie Cali could switch this. That's Khaled can't do nothing about this. As a, as positive he, we the best. We, I like what Drake like. Yeah, all of that shit, I know, nigga. He can't do I'm, nothing. I'm for so this glad moment. you said Khaled because that's the cheerleader he needs. Whether it's gonna make a, 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 a impact or not, you need nobody is saying anything. Like, yo, we riding with Drake. You know what it is though, Brody? Right? It always has to come down to respect when when we're talking about who could side with him and people would care about. I think respect is the number one factor, right? They're all rich. They all have hit records. They've all collaborated with a massive amounts of people throughout the music industry. But the respect is what's different here, right? Like Mustard, he's sanctioned in Cali. 
Uh, what's the other dude you mentioned? Like yeah. Boy yeah. Wonder, Metro. Metro, right? Metro, Metro is probably the biggest producer from the 2010s, mm -hmm. arguably. Like, and they know it. They'll tell you Lex Luger and them too. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of other ones. Hit Boy, of course, right? But these other producers I'm mentioning, like, I'm not saying they don't get the respect, but the respect on that global level, like on a just mainstream level, everybody listens to it where they're like, yo, we're rocking with this producer and what they say. I don't know if there's any more left. That so you're saying him. God got to come down and say, yo, Himself. This, this is my dearly loved son who I'm well pleased. <laughs> Absolutely. And then he got to write him a verse. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and then he got to write him a verse. That's tough. It's tough. The, the, the dope thing about this conversation is none of us are saying like, He's bad at making music. Who Drake? Yeah. No, no, no. You know, this, I'm so glad you said that. But this conversation is strictly that. on culture. I'm so glad you said that because even to the people out there that think everybody has at least one Drake song that they like. For sure. I will never allow someone to tell me no. I don't. Like. There is something that that young man has produced. Like it can't just be outright hate. Stop it. It yeah. can't be. Even if it's a hook that you like. Mm -hmm. It don't even got to be the whole song. I know every single person has at least one thing that they've liked that Drake has put out. So I'm so glad you mentioned that because yeah. the lines get so blurred. Yeah. Last question before thing. I get out of here, right? With that shit. Is this going to turn into the cold war that we've seen between 50 Cent and Ja Rule? <laughs> where it's like, no matter the moment, <laughs> no matter where I am, I always got a diss ready for you, or that energy is always gonna be the same. I'm asking because we did see Nas and Jay Z piece Patch it up, up yeah. right? We seen that. Do we think they take the Jay Z and Nas route uh, for years from now, or do they? Is it Fifty Cent and Jay? I don't know what I want more <laughs> because look at how the amazing things that we have witnessed within this year because of them actually going at each other and not liking each other. Yeah. So that births a lot of great things as well. But I will say, oh my God, big surprise. I'm going to pick the peaceful route and then <laughs> them pay piecing it up. I want that because I hate seeing Drake like this. Yeah. I don't like it because I, I love Drake. Like I really, I'm like, guys, he's, Let's not forget that he's really him. Yeah. Like, let's not forget how many, like, hits he's given us. So I just want him to stop. Like, I want to stop seeing him in this light. <laughs> like, I, please, Kendrick, just forgive him. I'm sorry. You like, can't tell a nigga you hate the bitches he fucking and peace with him after. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that. <laughs> Call him a certified pedophile. You can't forget Gigi. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to think about it now. Like, I'm starting to think about it now. Yeah. Now I say you had dick sucking lips. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a pretty bad dude. No, there's a crazy really and, bad. Then, and then whole said, I fucked your BM in the backseat. It's, it's a little Left crazy. A and they Cash it up. They did. But Anything no, is possible. Okay. Nobody was in the club talking about he trying to fuck a minor. minor. Yeah, that's like that that is piecing it up different. after that. That's different. Oh. You say you hate the way that I walk, the way that I talk, the way that I dress. Nah, nigga. You guys don't think they will ever piece it up? I honestly, I think they can. Nah. I, I think they can. And I think it's and I think it has mm -hmm. everything to do with Kendrick. For the last few years, oh, yeah. we've seen interviews of Drake saying that he wanted to. Not necessarily maybe piece it or maybe he was just past whatever riff the two of them had and he didn't believe that there was a real issue, right? I could definitely like see nah. Kendrick on some like uh, I, like no. I, I know a nigga that <laughs> got hate in his heart. Kendrick, right? <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah. That's what that. I'm saying. It's over. It's over. It's, it's, it's over. Because Kendrick clearly he could hold a grudge. Yeah. So he'll he hold it for like 30 years. And they years. just don't stand for the same thing. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, yeah. And once exactly. you They're get aligned. exposed for not having you know, alignment, that's a perfect word. Yeah. Any type of alignment and what you stand for as a person, as a man, your character, like, it's no reconciliation yeah. because we don't even go about life or mm. see life in the same way. Like, Meet the Gram should tell you everything. I know we haven't really talked about that song in particular, but if you listen to that song alone, mm -hmm. it says, there is no room for me and you being anything. Right. He talked about him being a, a horrible fucking person. <laughs> he talked to his mother that and father crazy. on a diss track. So they continue said, with when you fought, when Anadonis. you turn 18, come out at me, Adonis. Let me <laughs> yeah. sit you down and talk to you about your sicko ass fuck. Like yeah. this is no, I don't see it being reconciled right. in, in any way. So no. they just continue with tradition with 50 Cent and Ja, right? I not in terms of talent, of course, but just in terms of the energy towards each other. Like 50 I'm and Ja. They talk like they like the beef just happened yesterday. I love it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, I live for this shit. But that was almost twenty years that's ago. That's more on fifty though, because I feel like if it were, oh, if it were definitely. up to Ja Rule, yeah. he would be like Drake and want to patch it up and be like, "Please leave me alone." Right. I, I, you know, for me, it's different because as successful and as big as Ja Rule is and was, and the impact that he's had, like Fifty Cent was just so massive. Yeah. That he. 
didn't have any peers at that time. Kendrick and Drake are a lot closer to being peers than Ja Rule and 50. And again, yeah, it's not, not to take yeah. anything away from Ja Rule, but 50 Cent is literally one of one in hip hop. He's one of one. So <laughs> he doesn't have, the, yeah. the, they aren't peers in that way. <laughs> Especially so, when we found out, not to cut you over, I'm sorry. Okay. Especially when we found out that first person shooter, wait, y'all wanted Kendrick Lamar on there? Yeah. So that means there was a means of some sort of reconciliation. Like they were like, let's hug. Yeah, that was already there. That's obviously was stepped on. Now. Oh my God, can we, <laughs> when John ja was like, are you ready? Are you ready? And the Bucks lost every game going forward after that. <laughs> that was cricket. <laughs> Nobody said anything. I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. I love title. that video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know because I don't think it's gonna be smoked like that. Right. Because neither one of them can be a quote unquote punching bag the way that Ja Rule deems to be a punching bag for 50 Cent. Yeah. Uh, just because the audience just isn't there. It's not an equal playing field for those two. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think of a better comparison between people who just don't fuck. You know, it just starts the energy. Maybe, maybe it's more, yeah. and this has been like the theme throughout this beef is Prince and Michael Jackson. Where okay. they were peers, but there were times where they just didn't fuck with each other and you knew it. And they don't talk about each other. But when they get mentioned in the same rooms, they not like us. Right. And I ain't gonna fuck with him. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how public like their spew was between the two of them. Like you, you're right. Everybody didn't know. But like they, they never came together. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I do see, I don't think Drake is gonna stop trying to shoot at Kenny. Now I don't mean on music. Like I just mean on maybe an Instagram caption or like he might do something funny at a festival or Drake, he might do stop. something funny in the picture. I don't think he stops trying to bug him like, the way 50 tried to bug his job. Like subs for days. Yeah, subs for day, for years. I don't yeah. think Drake is just going to one day wake up and be like, you know what? I'm done. I don't see it, especially with how he got done this time. Like, I think that sits close with him. Ugh, I just feel like sometimes yeah. it's, isn't it sometimes better to like just kind of be like, okay, I am done. Even if you lost. That's the problem with hip-hop, Isn't hip -hop, that not like though. you... I know. Like, the, the competition, competition, the ego, I know. Ego, but like, yeah, and pride. But for your own peace of mind, like, can't you just move on? <laughs> no? Okay. Do Never mind. Do it for the baddies, yo. <laughs> move on for the baddies, yo. They deserve better than this, twin. Nah, they still gonna, the baddies still gonna get the music. The baddies don't care right yeah, now. Yeah, They're you're like right, though. still playing his music. Baddies don't care at all. You're right. The baddies don't sing not like us, though. They, nah. They genuinely get upset. They do get tight at the spot. I was at the spot. They got tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, chill. Hey, like, what you did this weekend? I went to a concert. I went to a show for uh, my guys. You hate us? No, nah, I just said I went to a concert. For I just asked to if support you his bestie. That's why I, I allow it. I didn't say any. I just asked. You be it's a yes or no. I just said, do you hate us? Yes or no? Yo, you be trying to make me look crazy. I, bro. You knew I was going too. I did, but I just asked. How could I hate you? Because the people don't know. Yeah, exactly. I'm the man of the people. I'm the man of the people. No, no, you lie to the people. I didn't lie. I just asked. It's a lie. What I you hate doing? You. Hmm? Oh, okay. All this time, what Alex you know? still didn't answer the question. Yes or no? <laughs> nah, yeah, my guys. Uh, shout out to Turbizi and Just. Okay. Okay. Just the loyal. They had a performance oh, with Child Lee this uh, this weekend. Oh wow! Thing, yeah, the thing with these cool. performances, though, man, you just never know when the niggas are gonna perform. I don't yeah. hate you, man. Come on, okay. man. you you all missing right. me, son? This nigga be missing me. That's say what they do. Yeah, nah, yeah. Say you missing me. Nah, we, we say it. Yeah. Nah, we say, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Okay, now let's say, say it. it. <laughs> you gotta say it, bro. Why well, you ain't want to say it? Because I didn't miss you. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you the fuck? Out. The fuck? Because niggas ask me about you when I go out. When I'm you outside. You ain't tell them even though I told you? Watch this. Nah. No. That's Yo, not, niggas is fake. That's none of their business. That's all, If I'm at a spot. Yeah. And you're not there, but I know uh -huh. where you at. Niggas be like, yo, what's Savon? I ain't going front. He had to try at the line. He good, though. You going to see him next time. Okay. You, make right. so, you at least say something. Like, something. Yeah. This nigga like, yeah, nah, he hates us. I'm just like, yeah, like yo, you know how Alex do. That's crazy. They don't know how I do. <laughs> that be the thing. I mean, they, 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 they kind of do. The they fuck? do know that you don't let your mans into parties. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't me. This was no, three years ago, damn Three it. years ago when me and the gang threw a party. You feel me? Justin Turb was there. It was just so crazy that... The you cops left, came. You left Savon outside. But but I felt so bad. We started doing Alex, the party outside. Alex, this is a long excuse. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, we brought the party outside once I found that my mans couldn't get in. Okay. They did. 
<laughs> we brought it outside. Was mad about us. He know. <laughs> you know I think I might have been on like a date. <laughs> he was. I think I, I just happened to be on a date, and I tried yep. to like stroll, look mad romantic. He did. So yeah. This nigga's turned up and party. Was just booty shaking. And it was just like, wait, <laughs> maybe it was God's plan for me not to go into that shit that night. He works in mysterious crazy. ways. He don't, don't he? Won't he do it? He certainly does. Yes, Won't sir. he do it? Won't he do it? I got a question for y'all, real quick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we can go to the next topic. I know uh, the double XL. And Capella, Capella Gray. We want to talk about yeah. Capella Gray? But well, really quick, yeah. I want y'all to think about the strangest thing that you are grateful for. The strangest thing, not the basics, mm. not the health, family, ah. you know, opportunity. Oh, you know those are my go-to. I know, I know, and that's why I'm <laughs> gonna get ahead of that bullshit. Like, no, think about the strangest things. Like, what am I truly grateful for? And I'll tell you why I had this thought and where this is coming from. I need time to think, think of an one. answer. I got, I got, I got one. Just okay, think yeah. about you it. You go first, Pierre, then. No, I, I'll let somebody else go first. This might go left. No, because I don't have one. I I'll tell you how this too. question, I'll tell you how this question came about. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll it, inspire it us. Yeah. Kick it off, because I'm, I'm, I'm out right, there cool. right Me too. <laughs> Same. This, oh, this, I, this have is one, I have one. You got one? All right, cool. So really quick, today, I made a new friend. I was sitting at home at my work computer. I work in basketball shorts, and I have the button on up top. Fire. So my legs were exposed, and as they were exposed, I felt. I felt like a, a small uh, kind of pinch on my leg. So I'm looking around like, what the fuck is going on? And then I felt another little pinch. I'm like, what the <sighs> fuck, right? Oh and I have God. like my head, my legs are mad hairy. Yeah. So I always feel like I feel shit on me, even though it's nothing there, it's just my <laughs> hair. But Being a man sounds not fun. <laughs> then I kind of lift my leg up in the light and I just watched my leg. And there was mosquito. a mosquito sucking my blood. Ew. And you know what? I didn't. I didn't disturb him. I let him what? get it off. And, and that's Zavon's your. And that's your problem. So no. Strange. <laughs> and that's your problem. <laughs> Zavon's a strange thing. You let that nigga thing, suck a whole blood. Listen, <laughs> Yo, because what? he kept going. He like he kept hitting me, and I'm like hitting myself. But whatever. Feeding the pool, huh? I finally <laughs> seen him, and I'm like, oh wow, he's feasting. I'm not gonna <laughs> disturb him because I'm grateful Yo, that he's not three feet tall. <laughs> What type of fucking thinking is this? What was, is going bro, on in, in there? In the, in, You're supposed to be working. Bro, and watching this mosquito take blood from my leg, oh. I was grateful that mosquitoes are mosquitoes and they're not like <laughs> these eight foot monsters looking to suck on me. This is why Savon, we it's always crazy. say he can never die. Savon is such an extremist because, like, why would a mosquito potentially be an eight foot monster? If God just kill just the mosquito, like, imagine if he just I see what was you said, a little bro. bit. I was so grateful in that moment to be getting bitten by that mosquito because I was terrified of if it was like, you know, 18,000 times the size. But why would it be 18 <laughs> times the size, Avon? Why are you your size? <laughs> okay, we already talked about my shortness in the beginning. No need to bring it up again. You know, I'm a... No, I'm kidding. Uh, you, you, some things just happen this way. It's like an alligator. No. Why aren't they extinct? Why what? did they make it? <laughs> that is a dinosaur. Talk? That's you know a true, yeah, that's a true dinosaur. <laughs> Do you guys know what a platypus looks like? You! Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Wow! <laughs> really? What the hell? I don't see, you put it out the room. I don't see a platypus I'm tail joking. next to it. I'm joking. Uh, I do not look like a platypus. No, we can work that. I don't want. I don't want no, you no, to feel bad. No, no, we can keep that. it in because that was because that was a bad joke. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that was like not a nah, good joke. Nah, she got forty tonight, bro. That was, that was not a good joke. I'm a, no, let's she keep it in. No, no, we're not keeping that in. Mark that kid. Now we keep it out. Oh my god! Ha ha! He said I look like a platypus. Anyway, nah, this girl had no, no, please let's keep it. I'm gonna let him have that one. I only brought it up because I was gonna say God has a sense of humor because he made platypuses. So clearly, I love God. I don't know because they won't brought up God making mosquitoes and that's what just came to mind. Sorry, oh, shit. That's good. now they got a big ass tail. Them niggas, <sighs> they do. Yeah. Reggie, I fuck. I love you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you got one out. Yeah, yeah. That's not what I thought the yeah. question was gonna go towards. I thought it was like actually like what we're grateful for. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I am. I'm, I'm grateful. Oh, because I was gonna say I'm grateful I have tiny feet. Okay, <laughs> okay. That's that, that's because right. I wouldn't want because I'm short. That's <laughs> yeah. just the theme of this yeah. episode. I'm like really short, so me having yeah. big feet would be crazy. Yo, nah. Reggie with the boats would go. I have really <laughs> tiny feet. I'm like a size like four. That joint would be. Oh, bad. you get some fly kicks. Oh, kicks are expensive for you. Nah, no, nah, they're nah, the nah, cheapest because no one buys them. They're small. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I mean like like kicks that are like really expensive. Like 
<laughs> oh, you mean I could just get yeah, like? Oh, yeah, you yeah. get a size four and some shits. Oh uh, yeah, I got one. <laughs> I just you I gotta say something uh, weird. <laughs> nah, you gotta thank God every morning you ain't wake up with the micro penis. That oh my god! Be, no, because <laughs> hear me out. Shit. No, it is. Hear me out. Have you seen one on the internet? Have you been, been to the pool before? And the nigga that's 79 years old pull up with that nub on his shit? You've seen it, right? Oh, guys, sign up for our Patreon. We did discuss this. <laughs> right? The micro, the micro penis looks like your chapstick. No, no. It's smaller than that. Damn. Now, the micro penis is it so small. Micro? Google it right now. Yeah. I'm my, not putting my, that on my algorithm. <laughs> now, put it on there. I always thought- Like that? Look no, at you. Can no, you no, hold up your no, chapstick to the camera? No, you don't. A, a, a <laughs> micro penis is like- Half the size of this, <laughs> and not as girthy. All right, this is how you know if you got you a micro a penis. This is how you know if you got a micro penis. If you piss on your balls, you got a micro penis. All right, it just trickles down. It just trickles down. No. How did you know that though? <laughs> I'll tell you this. Why did you just have yo, that explanation nah, ready? Nah, I explain. I explain. Now it's going. Oh shit! So oh, shit. I play football, right? Oh, In the locker shit. room, a lot of things happen. So you seen some shrimp scampi? We um, it's a long story, but to make a long story short. <laughs> One of our initiation <laughs> tactics to the team is you got to strip a, a person and throw them in a the shower. Oh, y'all was so, them teammates. Yeah. So at one point, we stripped the kid Man. and somebody was like, yo, he got the small beef. He pissed on his balls. Oh, that's, that's so sad. Happened, yeah, yeah. Nah, so. the older you get, <laughs> shrimp scampi. All right, forget it. Wait, I Women can't, love shrimp scampi. I can't imagine being right? a man and like uh, everyone knows you have a tiny dick. <laughs> like, that is so sad. Women love shrimp alfredo. Why do you call it the scampi though, bro? Like, cause what, funny. Cause, cause, what, cause what it look like when it get cold? I don't know. It shrivels up? Like, like, you know when it's shrimp oh me in the shell? Oh my God, bro. You no, know, but like, I thought, I thought micro penis right. was something people said just like as no, like a joke, but I didn't know it was like a, thing. it's, it's like a medical thing. condition. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. an actual thing. Ooh, yeah, yeah. okay. Like, 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 vote, which like one is? you can't is, put on a condom, actually. Nope, nope, Would you rather be a short king or have a micro penis? Short king. Short, short king. king. <laughs> me. My ass. At least I'm a pup. Wait, isn't that, wait, what? Is that not politically correct now? Oh, shit. We we bringing it full circle? No, you can say that. Yeah. I thought there was little up. people. Oh, you talking about? <laughs> oh, they, you can't say that no more. Nah. I don't know. Nah. Oh. Little man, me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, be careful whoa, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful though, because that could mean two different meanings, and you could get the shrimp scampi <laughs> just because of that. Be careful with how you word that. Yo. But now, nah, give me the short. Because if I'm a short king, I can still pull up with a bow. Fact. I can still pull up with a surprise. That's true and change your life. That's Fact. true. Fact. Still that surprise with that shit word. It's not, it, it, there's a saying that goes: It's not about the size of the boat; it's the motion. And they lied. It's the motion of the ocean. <laughs> niggas lie. Them bitches lie. They're like Thai chili they peppers. They told me they lied. <laughs> what are Thai chili peppers? Thai chili peppers are the tiniest, but they are powerful. <laughs> <laughs> you see? They lying some more for you. Look, 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 look. They, comp they just, com they just compare <laughs> sex with you. Look, look. She just compared sex with y'all to red hot pepper sex. She lying to y'all, yo. No, because if you know, if you, lying, like, yo. if you like Asian cuisine, you know if a dish has Thai chili peppers in it, it's like spicy. Yeah. Oh my it's not like a regular pepper. But it's shrimp scampi and Thai chili. But it packs a punch. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, nah, yeah. Uh, mine is. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I like to eat food. Everybody loves to eat, right? Yeah. You ever been constipated? <laughs> yeah, it's the worst thing in the world, right? From, from time to time, it's one uncomfortable. Of, yes, it's one of pretty, yeah. Pretty so the annoying. thing I'm really grateful for is being able to take a shit. <laughs> That's a good one. Wait, so you're like never constipated? No, it'd be the small. Thing. You gotta like make sure ever? you gotta make sure you're hydrated and you yeah. got right, the right amount of fiber. Fiber, in you. Yeah, it's yeah. true, but. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't nothing worse than like you come home from a long day of work. <laughs> you can't shit. You feel like you gotta take a dump. You sit down and nothing happened. Forty minutes, nothing. That's the so worst you have been world. constipated. So you did. I, lie. I've been constipated before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But How many not, times you take a shit a day? Uh, every every meal. So if I ate three meals, I'm taking three shits. If I eat two, I'm taking two. I'm the same so, way. I thought I was. Wait, so honestly, guys, that's healthy. Yeah. That's, that's healthy. Really? To have like yeah. a bowel movements daily, like you have to, like you're supposed to. I, I thought someone was shit for no reason. <laughs> Okay, wait, okay. Extra shit. Ass, you little shitty ass. I, yo, I wake up out my sleep to shit sometimes. <laughs> you little shitty ass. That's, <laughs> that's different. Uh, but I'm healthy, I feel like. Oh, wait, that's what you're Give grateful for. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry. I know we have another topic. This is going to be quick. But since Pierre I'm talked about this. shitting, okay, I'm good. I don't know if I just say, whatever. <laughs> not we cut out. Okay, so you guys know when you have a long day outside, you know, you're not at home. Yep. You, you're outside the whole day, moving and grooving, mm -hmm. and then you haven't used the restroom. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I don't have to pee. I don't have to poop. It's okay. But then once you arrive home, 
that shit connects like Bluetooth, <laughs> and now you have, suddenly have to go. Yeah. Does that happen to it's people? Like a rush. Even even when I'm peeing too, like I I would have kept the pee inside my bladder for <laughs> however long, and it just knows the I, moment I open home, the key. Wait, I didn't yes. know that no. everyone did this, and I mentioned yeah. it to a friend, and he was like, "Yeah, like it's because," <laughs> and then he was like, "It's because your body is like." comfortable now yeah it's the worst Isn't when you're it? driving like, that makes sense mm-hmm. and the closer you get to your house while you're driving <laughs> you it feel feels it like it's <laughs> about to release yeah. like i have pulled over on wow. the side of the road and taken many a shit no you have like a block away from your crib <laughs> i'm not gonna lie they're gonna arrest you many a shit you're gonna get arrested in a while <laughs> you're gonna get arrested Wait, are you joking stop. or shits like or dead ass. You better stop what i lie I don't know about shitting outside yeah. in the woods. I did that. <laughs> and got back do in the car. Have, do you have something to wipe with? <laughs> and got right back in the car. I always got paper towels with your shitty ass in my car. Hmm? You got right back up in the car with your shitty I, ass. I huh? wiped. I wiped. <laughs> I had wipes. And I always have hand sanitizer. All right, babe, but you you wipe until you don't see no more brown, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> nah, some niggas, they leave a you little something in You got to stick a little finger like, uh, get the pressure. I, hey, I don't care what they think. I put some fingers in there to clean my ass. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what these Yo, niggas. I don't give thing, a, for hey, you, for you hey, loyal need to know hey, listeners, he hasn't uh, even said this before. I'm trying to tell these niggas, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you shitty ass niggas don't put fingers in your ass and y'all got a bunch of particles. I got a bunch of Chipotle in that bitch. Get that it is, all out, guys. Yeah, I don't play that shit. Yeah, I, got I just, a, I just, I got just didn't question. know that everyone felt this sensation. But I think it's that's annoying. beautiful. Like yeah. your, your body knows when you're home. It does. It has a sense of home. I think that's beautiful. It's not that beautiful because... <laughs> <laughs> Yours like turn, I, goes zero to hundred yeah, real quick. I'm I'm really fighting for my life <laughs> to get, make it to the toilet. Have like, you ever? I'm so sorry. We cut the, have yeah. you ever shit yourself? I have. <laughs> <laughs> he, told, he looked me right in my eyes. And I was like, I That's have. Rude. Uh, Wait, how, at what age? Last question. I'm sorry. I'm a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Follow up question. I got one more question too. Oh, like 26. <laughs> what? Uh, All right, get out. That's tough. Get out. But get out you, right you, now. You, I can explain. You drunk? Get out right now. I was really drunk. Okay. I knew you at 26. I was really. <laughs> and you knew me when I shit myself. I didn't, I wasn't awake. I wasn't conscious. Like I, I fell asleep and woke up in shit, in my own shit. I Damn, think I that's, died. That's dangerous. I think I died. <laughs> 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 this nigga yeah. had a nightmare. Yeah, I think. No, I'm serious. I went out. I got really drunk. And you know, say mom loves his like late night meals. He has good taste in food. Yeah. yeah. I came home. I went oh. to sleep fully clothed. I woke up butt ass naked, oh. covered in shit. <laughs> Oh, I promise you. Shit, this nigga getting, had a nightmare. You love Damn. our listeners because why are you just giving it up like Yo, that? You know how bad question. your dream had to be Bro, for you to do it that? Was, hold up. Stop. He, oh, he bringing in proof. He always does this. <laughs> why you I haven't it? done it in a while. Why are you bringing in proof? Because sometimes oh, yeah, I think I get on this. People tell me I just get on this pod. And no, I believe you. That's the thing. I mean, sometimes. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe today's a lucky day. <laughs> Hello? Uh-huh. Ah, oh hello? my goodness. Give her a warning first. Let me find out you got me on the power. I see. <laughs> Look at my mama he guy. Does. What's going on, Ma? How you doing? Let me find out. <laughs> I am famous. <laughs> you are famous. A star. Been famous. A star. <laughs> can you hear everybody, Ma? Alex, yes, Reggie, I Pierre. Can. All right, cool. So yes, we it, it was story time here on the pod. <laughs> and Reggie asked okay. me a very personal question. I'm sorry. Something okay. led up to it. It wasn't random. I'm sorry, <laughs> ma'am. Reggie asked me. <laughs> We sorry for calling you. If I ever pooped my pants. <laughs> I can't curse. It's my mom. My fault. Should I answer honestly? <laughs> yes. I, I told him the story. Well, if I must answer in my most dignified voice. <laughs> she had to change her voice. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Was he nervous, mom? <laughs> no, he was not nervous. It was just it was him. Else, but it wasn't nervous. <laughs> oh, it oh, oh. Certainly was not the nerve. Oh, it was something else. I released my nerve that night. <laughs> oh, wait. So, like, he did it. And, like, I love how you didn't try to hide it. You told your mom. Oh, I didn't tell her. Uh, oh. oh, no. He didn't tell me anything. <laughs> you I smelled found it. him. <laughs> In a certain state. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, I think I remember this. Oh, wait, I think I remember this. I love moms. I love moms. Oh my. You had to find him like that. This is crazy. How'd you find me, mom? Butt naked. Passed out. Passed out, butt naked, shitty ass. Oh my God. Sorry, 
I wasn't going to say that part, but yes, Alan. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is gold. Yeah, it was dude. about four years ago. Don't say that. Say it was 14 Five, years ago. Yeah, six, seven, Made eight. it worse. Yeah, it was like eight years. My fault. 18 years ago. Yeah, no. It, it was a couple songs. <laughs> it was too recent enough where he should not have been doing what he was doing. <sighs> you had, a, you had a, a bad moment. I did. But I don't lie on the pod. You bounced so back. I did. You Thank you, back. Ma. I appreciate you. Picking <sighs> we up my appreciate call. you so Thank much. Thank you, Ma. You're quite welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, Ma. So, Ma, tell your mom. I said I'm, right. I'm helping her pray for you. Pierre said he's gonna help you pray for me. The room is. Yeah. Listen, we gonna us. have to lay hands on him. We gonna have to fast. We gonna have to do a Everything. whole lot more than just. All right, all right, Ma. You're doing a lot. <laughs> all right, we can start it up. All right, I love you too. We can start talk to you up. later. Hail Mary. <laughs> okay. Full of grace. <laughs> the Lord is with thee. Bless her thou among women. Start going crazy, damn, Ma. They said pray. We started praying. What a nice little tangent. Yeah. Shit. Yo, last question. <laughs> last, last. I promise. That's we fun. on a roll. So, last question. This is more so directed towards uh, Savon and, and uh, Alex. Oh, sexist. <sighs> yeah. Why? Because I'm a woman. Well, because yeah. I think you do this naturally, Reg. Um. So, Savon, Alex, wake up in the middle of the night and you got to pee, but you're tired, right? Oh, I know he's. Gonna... Have you guys ever sat down to pee? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Keep it real. Hey. Keep it real. I'm curious. They got me. I didn't do did it. We got him. I didn't do it. I didn't do it before. I ain't gonna say a lot. Okay. And it felt good. Facts. Okay. I ain't feel so much like a man no more. <laughs> okay. I, but I didn't did it. Save on. I didn't did it. Maybe when I was younger. Ah, uh, he lying. I just told you I shit oh, no. on myself. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's lying about anything uh, like that. Yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. I might have did that last year. Damn, why, Pierre? You do that all the time or what? <laughs> nah, That's sometimes bad. if I wake up and I'm tired and I'm not, I'm not trying to stand up, you know, I'd be squatting, so like my legs hurt. Yeah, I'm squat- sit down. No, but squatting, standing up is way easier than squatting. Squatting makes your legs hurt more, no? Nah, but when I'm when you're down, you don't have that much uh, pressure on your legs. Y'all talking about sit squatting? I'd be sitting on that motherfucker, <laughs> dick dangling in there. Psst. You join ever, uh, you join ever hit the wall. Yo, for sure. What? Why? And it's bad. Yo, hey, and yo, you feel nasty. Nice. Nah, yeah. that's my brother. You being yeah. real. Sometimes we brother. need to we need to control our intrusive thoughts. Oh, we went too far. And not ask my what fault. we want to ask. Why are you asking if their dick touches yeah, the water? Just know I hit the shower when that when that toilet juice touched my shit. Fact, just no, know. No, like when you sit. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be honest. All right, forget it. I'm gonna be honest here. Nah. Sometimes before my poop touched the water, my joint touched the water. So what anyway, else? Uh, we said double XL, right? On, it's no. going on. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what happened with double XL? They said they put some new shit out, right? You ever had to whip your joint out and just go like that over your shoulder? Yo, nah, because I heard they put some new artists on there, right? On the double XL shit, right? He just voluntarily told us you dip your penis in poop water. <laughs> nah, nah, because nah, like when you stir it too. Nah, because sometimes when like you know how your sh- is like. Uh, no. I hope the camera on you when you're doing he hand did, motions. He did put the camera on his I, I, I hope I, I hope he put Some the camera can't on when relate. you start like with your <laughs> shitty ass dick. Nah, so <laughs> you got the shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit, your <laughs> shitty ass dick. The fuck up out of here, nigga. And you oh, volunteer okay. that information, Pierre. The fuck? Nah, I, cl- Yo, I dick clearly, shit is I clearly, crazy. this nigga be trying I to measure his shit to the log he dropped. Oh, I know. Really you know, I knew it was prime, but goddamn, that's why we let him run. Hey yo, that's why we letting it rock. Ain't no hey yo, man. I clearly said before Double XL, I hit the go, wall. Alex, take it away. No, what, ha- what they do? I don't fuck it. What do you know? mean? What they did? Just get me away from that. <laughs> what they do? The cover, Alex. <laughs> no, I know. I'm, like, I'm oh, gonna oh, mute right. my mic because I don't know none nah. of them niggas. <laughs> all right, now it's that time of the year, y'all. Yeah, we got to get back on track because he's crazy in the back. All right, we're gonna get back on track to some music, y'all. I promise. It's that time of the year, y'all. What Double XL is released. Their freshman class. This has been tradition for however many years. Um, but for the last few years, at least, people have cri- highly critiqued the list. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people that come from the blog era, 2010s era, they've been having a real difficulty with identifying who these new artists are in recent years. So uh, they're back. And I wanted to read the names and then we can kind of get into how we actually felt about it. And that list reads mm-hmm. Cash Cobain, Skilla Baby, uh, the Mexican OT, Huncho, Lay Banks, uh, Scarlip, Boss Man Dilo, nigga. He's, <laughs> he's, my, he's become my favorite Florida rapper. Uh, Richard Mary, 
Uh, do, 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 am I missing someone? Yes. Uh, Maya the Don. <clears throat> four <love> bats. <clears throat> yeah. And also, which was interesting this year, they added Southside as producer of the freshman class, which is weird. No, 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 no. That, yeah. I don't know. Did they officially add it? Because He's, every year they have a designated DJ okay, that will, mind, that does right. the ciphers. Beats by Southside. Yeah, yeah in the yes, ciphers, right. they have one DJ. Yes. He's literally in the video with them. And that's like a yearly thing. Thank you for clearing that up. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't read where it says. That's why I read this fundamental, kids. <laughs> yes, it says beats by Southside. So I'm sure he prevent, he, uh, Mm-hmm. Provided the beats that they use for the freestyle. Um, before we go any further, how familiar are we with these artists? I'm, I don't even look at I'm very here. proud of myself. Well, he already told us he was like, I don't know who the fuck. I mean, okay. Not no cash. Yeah, you got to. That's you know Maya Don? She's from New York. You know She's Maya adorable. I love her. I, I'm not familiar. <laughs> She's stacked. You know her. I'm not. Is she stacked? <laughs> yeah. But vocally. Hold on. One of them. Nah, function. she okay. I'm on my bag. I'm on my telephone. Yeah. You know that song. I don't. Yeah. Jesus Christ. When I'm in it. Uh, uh, no? I don't know. I really don't. I'm in my bag. I'm in my bag. Alex, show him a picture. Mm-mm. Nah, later. I'm going to show him later because he's going to be distracted. All right. Uh, okay, so somebody... Okay, so the like I think it was like two years ago. Yeah. I saw on the timeline where someone was like, oh my God, I'm at that age. I don't know who the fuck these kids are. Blah, 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 when the XSL lips drop. Yeah. And I saw opinion that really hit me. I was like, especially me working in music. And it was like, yo, you guys know, like, saying that you don't know these people is not a flex, right? Like, that just means you're not tapped in. Now, I'm not talking about Savon because he's not old. shoot. Damn. You no, got no, the no, gun no. out today. Damn. I called you a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I'll be no, that. but that's not a diss to Savon because no, he has stood on like, yeah. guys, I like what I like. Yeah. I like the classic. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna claim to be this hip. Like, I, that's, so that's, that not, that's why this is not like a subtweet at Savon. But for me, working in music, like. Me getting on the timeline, being like, "Who are these kids? Oh my god, you guys! I don't." That is not a flex. So I every year I've been like, when the list drops, I'm like, "Oh, like, do I know these people?" And if I don't know like three or four, I will research. I'll be like, "Oh, like, this is cool. Like, these are the people that are killing it." So this year, I knew a lot of them. I was so proud of myself, and I like it. Why not? Like, I like I've. I don't know. I, I will say, yeah. I don't have an issue with the list. This year, I I don't have much of an issue. Uh, if if the only issue I maybe would have this year was just to include some more people, but I know they have their number. Mm-hmm. But Huncho has had a great year. You, th- Those of you that are not familiar with Huncho, he's basically turned into a uh, new generation gunner. Ooh. He's also out of Atlanta. The ladies love him. I enjoy his music. His music is centered around women, which is why I love Huncho's music. Uh, Maya the Don, New York, what up? I love Maya the Don. <clears throat> Maya, what girl. up? We're going to get into that Capella Gray album right after this, I promise. We're going to make this quick. But Maya represents big New York energy. Mm-hmm. She, she rapping like Foxy. She rapping like Kim. I'm just t- t- talking in terms of flow. And she has an amazing personality. She's hilarious. And yes. she'd be like, because she's a woman. She's cute. She started like, you know, doing makeup. That's how she like <clears throat> blew up on TikTok and stuff. Like <clears throat> beauty and stuff. But then she was like, I really love hip hop. Like, I really feel like I need to chill sometimes. Because yeah. I'd be sounding like Jada Kiss when I rap. Because <laughs> she's like, I love the men. Yes. Like, and that, those are her inspirations. Yeah. But she's trying to, you know, be girly, make hits. And I just, I love you, girl. Yeah. And she's super passionate about what she does. Does. She is. So I, I love that. Uh, Scarlet, New York represented once again. Um, Scarlet is very New York sound. Mm-hmm. She's from Brooklyn, right? Uh, I am believe I, am I she's... F- double check that. Okay, I'll, 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 I don't know if she's from the X or if she's from Brooklyn. I, I forget. Uh, Four Bats. Four Bats went viral this year for mm-hmm. his lack of presence. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, just how he's reintroduced this style of R&B. A lot of people thought he was presumed he was AI when they first heard his music. I personally love what he's doing because we need people that depict gritty culture and to make like some of this singing, these, these singing songs sound a little bit more cooler to the kids. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to get to Big X the Plug, who Savon is pointing to me. Big X the Plug is from out of Texas. Yeah, he big, but he can rap. He's real. And he's the plug. Yeah, he's the plug for sure. <laughs> he's raw. And he's been, um, I, went, I remember when I went to United Masters, courtesy of Ahmad, and He's done a lot independently on his own. Okay. Yeah. And with United Masters. Great talent. Cash Cobain, of course, has taken over the music industry. I think that was the one like, <laughs> yep, yep. like shoe That helped him. That like, helped him a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was like the yeah. undeniable one in the list. Yeah. Having Cash well, I mean, Cobain. We're so biased, but like, you know. No, you're right. Because it's New York and shit. But having Cash Cobain on this list definitely sanctioned this because, again, we've heard him with Charlie Wilson. We've heard him with Don Tolliver already. Mm-hmm. We've heard him with 
shit, nigga. We heard him with J. Cole. <laughs> so if there's anyone that should be on the double XL freshman list, it's yeah. absolutely him. And uh, Scarlett was from the Bronx, but raised in Brooklyn. I knew okay, she was right. from the X, but she was raised in Brooklyn. Okay, that makes sense. Skiller Baby out of Detroit. Women love Skiller Baby. Uh, he had this song called Girl, You Know You Fine, don't you? Girl, You Know You Fine. You heard that song on all these women's TikToks, Instagram reels. I get it. I understand it. Boss Mandela. I can make that dough stretch. I can teach finesse. <laughs> and I'm about my check. You better stay correct. These hoes stay choosing. Trap stay booming. I'm a trap mover. I'm a weight loser. Do you why we my... need Alex? No, I, 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 we... Have you heard my voice in the last five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there. Uh, I, that boy, b- boss man, that's rap, my dog. Rap whisperer. That's my, I love this music. See, I ain't going front. So as I saw it, Lay Banks, um, I don't think she has any notable music, but she I makes... My boyfriend, uh, she has a hit. She has a hit, yeah. But mm-hmm. I ain't want to sing because she getting nasty on that motherfucker. She's one of the nasty rappers. We need, we need room for those though. Well, maybe that, that'll mm-hmm. be my entryway. Oh, Lay Banks, right? Into the, yeah. like, the freshman class. <laughs> send, me, send me her shit. I'm going to send you her shit. You might like some of that shit. Yeah, I ain't going to okay. lie. All right. Uh, Rich and Mary. Rich and Mary's a part of the new crowd of um, just like that Playboy uh, Cardi school uh, where, where it's okay. like, it's, it, it's different. It's more, I don't know how to, underground. Yeah, that's okay. the best way to put it. More underground. Uh, the Mexican OT, he's great rapper out of Texas. I, all in all, I loved it. I, I really did like it. If there was mm-hmm. anything else I had, it would just be if they could include more people. Like mm-hmm. I would have loved to see. But that's always every year, right? Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. Slow down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Can't wow. include more people. I got to catch up. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> <my, laughs> <laughs> people like me. That is just <laughs> enough. All right? <laughs> Shout right, out to all boy. those lovely people right. on that cover. One by one, right? One by one. <laughs> one by one. Okay. One, one foot in front of the other. <laughs> hey. One step at a time. I like it. I, I'm not familiar. Maybe I will get familiar. Maybe I won't. But I know the double XL freshman cover is a huge accomplishment if you're an artist. Right. So it is something for us to talk about. Thank God we have Alex on this music podcast. <laughs> Thank God. I think Alex and Reggie are the only reason why this is a music podcast. Because <laughs> if it were up to say why. After, after we be, t- we be talking about some shit. <laughs> some mosquitoes. <laughs> Sucking, Sucking blood, blood out of your ass. <laughs> like, um, so so like, notable people that were also left off, and I'm done with this, Caribou. Uh, oh yeah, Caribou runs around with Lil Yachty. <laughs> you see our reactions? Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh yeah. He's like, what? What? <laughs> she he signed she signed underneath Concrete Boys. That's Lil Yachty's label. Uh, she had a standout year in terms of the women and mm-hmm. in the new class. Okay, and um, Anisia. I know. Yeah, I'm back on the Oh, you know that one? I don't. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you yeah. I don't. You know, I'm back outside. Uh. Uh, uh, I niggas don't. done made me mad. You know I, I don't know. She was the one, one reoccur- yeah. like the most reoccurring name yeah. I saw in my timeline that people were like, where the fuck is she? Right. Like, she should be on she this. She from Atlanta? Yeah, she from mm-hmm. Atlanta. Yep. I know that because of what Reggie sent in the group chat today, the content piece. Oh, you watched oh. it? I told you I watched it. Yeah, okay, so you yeah, grabbed that sure. from it. Nice. Shout out to my rapper friends from Atlanta. They were talking nice. about hers, and I sent them a video, and Savon actually watched it. Yeah, Thank you. And I remember the name the from that, so yeah. Aww. Yeah, shout out to the ladies. All right. <sighs> Thank God that's over. Yeah. <laughs> well, let, us know, let us know what you guys think about the XXL freshman cover, just in general, as a concept, and the this year's down below. Yeah. Can we do an old nigga XXL list one day? Like, Oh, we need balance. Yeah, for sure. We could definitely. We do should that. do like. We'll definitely do that. You talking about like 2010s? Uh, nah, just all the old niggas that shaking and moving today get a cover. They only do it when it's like. <laughs> Wait, what's like your the, criteria? Yeah, what's, so, yeah, what's your rubric? Men's Health tried it a few years ago with Method Man and <laughs> you mean this Buster year? Rhymes that was and literally last year, like a few. And Ludacris. They tried it. Bus but is still big. It Wait, was for what men's do you mean? Health. What do you mean tried? Because I feel like that, you didn't like that. I no, loved it. it. It was for men's health. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't yeah. a music article. A mu- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm saying like musically, gotcha. they should do something for the elder statesmen. That kind of the same. Like, yo, these are the elder statesmen who shaking and moving, doing their thing like in still? present day. Yeah. I, I don't just a little bit of balance because every name that you just <laughs> I felt like I was in a trigonometry <laughs> class. No, he was trying so hard to follow. Like, like, he was. And I know there's gotta be somebody else out there that's like me who's like, yo, what was language? Like, there's a lot of people like he you. Just oh, yeah, especially there's a lot. Age You're range. not alone. And I'm not knocking any of them. No, no, no. I don't no, want no. that to come off as no hate and no shit. I'm just a fiend. I'm just not yeah. uh, outside. Well, also, enough. Like, I wasn't a fiend. I don't know if I'm not I know everything. You. Has to be for us. Like if Savon doesn't know any of these Gen Z rappers, like I feel like that's fine. You know? Yeah, no, for sure. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, I'm just I do new music every Friday, yeah. so I look. And I was like, has to stay tapped. Yeah, in. I yeah. have. If I'm not tapped, we're done. The streets I'm, is done. No, I'm done. Now we were gonna get into um 
Capella Gray. Let's do it real quick. Capella Gray. Reggie, kick this off, man. So, you know, <clears throat> when <clears throat> Capella Gray stormed onto the scene, he's been doing a lot um, in the last few years behind the scenes. But when he first made his like solo debut, Gallus, I don't have to say it. You guys all know that. It shook up the whole world. Say, boy, you know that one? Yeah, I know that one. Sing, you got to know that one. Just sing alive, it. I'm that guy. I know that one. Yeah, you know. My so, hips move when that come on. Don't worry. <laughs> and now, in 2024, <laughs> Rihanna, one of the biggest stars in the entire world, yeah. she says that's her favorite song right now. I think that's a flex. Shout out to Capella Gray. Congratulations to you. And also, want to slip in wow. here before we get into the album. Capella Gray, I heard Gallus, like when it was on SoundCloud and had like 5,000 plays. I was like, this song is phenomenal. And I followed him. Shout out to Fergie Baby, who put me on. Oh, shout I followed to Fergie, him. Yeah. All and I met, um, I met Capella Gray like a month after that. And he told me, he was like, I remember you, Regina, because I remember you were the first verified check on Instagram ever to show me love. And I was wow. like, look at you now. Like on yeah. Chris Brown's album, like he is, he really, he really has done a lot in these last few years. And yeah. I'm very proud of him. And he just dropped an album. Yeah, we've been waiting, we've been waiting for it for so long. And honestly, I give it like, a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Yo, I did not know what to Yo. expect. Not that I was doubting him or for anything, but I just, songs? I just didn't know where he was going with it. We've been waiting for so long, like yeah. a lot of pressure on him. People are like, where the fuck is the debut? Like, bro, like what the hell? And he really like, what I love about it, I'll start from here. Like, I love that like, he's so New York. He's from the Bronx. Like, he like did not stray at all from his sound. Even oh. like Gallus, like if you like Gallus, like that Caribbean influence, New York gritty sound, like but hella R and B. He's he's a singer. He doesn't like try to like do any in between. But like he stayed so New York, and it doesn't sound like what a lot of New York artists are trying to do right now. It at sounds all. so Capella Gray. It sounds so New York. But, like, I feel like it's going to appeal to a lot of people. Like, you know how when, like, an album is, like, very West Coast, but it still is, like, everyone can enjoy it? Mm -hmm. I feel that way about his album. Like, he's really going to put the sound on the map again. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. And and for an album to be 22 songs and for me to listen to it as if it was 15 or... Fuck that, Reggie. I don't know how you feel about it, but I spun it, I spun it back after all 22 tracks were done. And I rarely do that these days. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. Uh, highly anticipated project. Mm -hmm. um, Capella Gray is known for not just being an amazing talent, but he's a real vocal guy. Like, he gonna tell you how you feel about some shit. I remember the last time I ran into him, I was still working for Joe, and he had came to do an episode with Joe. And around that time, he was still discussing about some of the difficulties he's experiencing within the music industry, like maybe feeling like a little bit blackballed and just uh, setting his expectations for his future and what he's dealing with in his current situation. To Reggie's point, I think New York for a few years lost like its quote unquote sound. And when I say lost, I don't mean that it went somewhere, it went away. I just feel like artists started to sway from it because maybe it just wasn't the popular genre, right? Or maybe it wasn't like the popular thing to do. Most recently in New York, the thing that's been the biggest for us has been drill music. I know people critique New Yorkers a lot, especially right. like just to kind of bring it back, like seeing LA, how unified they are. Right. And their sound is still their sound. I've been seeing all week like, oh, but you know, New York, their biggest sound right now is freaking drill and drill is from Chicago. Exactly. People haven't said, and I'm like, that. damn, like, you know, you they're not that. wrong. But New York did put its own flavor on it. But yes, still, yes. Yeah. But he <clears throat> has an impressive way of staying very uptown New York. Like when you listen to it, it sounds like, a walk down uptown in the summer, mm -hmm. like even down to the tempo of New York, right? And that's what stood out to me. He stayed very true to his sound and his NY sound, even while incorporating something like Sexy Drill on the album. Like Cash Cobain mm -hmm. is- He does have a song there. Yeah, but it sounds, it like sounds him. good. It I sounds like, it. like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it doesn't sound like, hey, Cash, pull up. I need your sauce. It yeah. sounds like, yo, let's collaborate let's together, together and let's make some real New York shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real talk. Were y'all surprised when I told y'all I listened to the album in a group chat? Nah, because not for nothing, Capella Gray, like, you like Ro Timmy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> wait, no, what? No, what? I like Ro Timmy wait, too. He, he's good. No, I like Ro Timmy too. There's but a meeting in, in my bed. bed. The both of them have in this very bed. similar way of singing Caribbean. Wait, that was, that was his show. That was his show. Yo, let me finish. I'm, no, that's not even a shot. I'm saying like the both of them have a very good way of, of combining Afro-Caribbean sound. Yeah. Okay. No, and Savon yeah. does like that type of yeah, like Well, Timmy like, makes yeah, a ton yeah, of yeah. that Afro-Caribbean sound. But I thought you, you could at least went like, a, yeah, Savon loves Tory Lanez. Yeah, yeah, but you yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was like, all right, but yeah, I get it. Right. Tory Lanez is too easy. Because I think Tory Lanez has become too broad at this point. 
What? What? Uh-oh. Explain. You have don't, a don't, yeah, 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 We're not doing a tour. It's not doing a No, no, I just want to hear. He has a woken the head umbrella. It's not a shot, y'all. It's not a shot. I mean, in terms of his versatility. Okay. Like, he's done pop music. He's done Caribbean music. The 80s shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, Capella Gray and Rotimi kind of stay centric to the sound. Okay. I just want to highlight real quick. Like, I know we do have a lot of New York listeners, but for the non New York listeners, we keep saying Caribbean because. New York is very like yes. Caribbean influenced. There's so many Jamaicans, Absolutely. Dominicans, and if you're like from California, like Guyanese, if Dominicans. You're from, yeah, 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 Dominicans. <laughs> yeah, can't forget about the Dominicans. Say more. Thank you for that. Shout out to Diamond Running Club. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because Thank if you're you from that, like yeah. let's say like uh, California, the Latino right. population is very different. Yeah. But like us, we're very like I'm yeah. not from New York. I'm not from New York. I want to erase that weird. <laughs> I'm not trying to be from New York. But like very Caribbean. I just like love yes. how flawlessly it was like just executed. so present. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was really executed Especially well. coming off the Kendrick show. It's an easy listen. Definitely an easy listen. Um, and I also, I, I think the standout verse for me, what actually made me say, oh, I need to listen to it like at this very moment yeah. was uh, Jay Wan. He had a song on the album called Fly Shit. Mm-hmm. It was yes. him and Young M.A. Yeah. I thought that was yeah. that mm-hmm. that that made sense. When New I York. saw Young and Man, I was like, oh shit. And Jay Wan. So uh he had a standout verse with me. I think uh, yeah, if this album goes, I hope it pushes him to another sphere. I think he All needs right. more eyes because that he 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 he's delivering mm-hmm. every time I hear him. And I feel like we're hey. not even just the three of us here, but I, and the four of us are up here. But, but like I feel like a lot of people who are listening to this had the same exact thought, and it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Who did he sound like? Fab. Fab. For some reason, like it was, it was like it was so crazy hey. to me like when i heard him come in in the song not only like the voice but like the cadence mm-hmm. the shit that he was rapping about Flash like, it, yeah. it it reminded me of like soul tape fab like yes. i was like whoa this is yeah. crazy and it's not a bad thing we're not saying like he's trying to copy him but no, he's no, 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 like no. restoring the feeling jay in Wan his is verse. showing us hey jay Wan came up here and chopped it up with us yes he and did. if you guys don't know he's the son of jadakus but his talent supersedes that i promise you um when I heard that shit, <laughs> I texted you, I think, when you, I heard it. Nigga. Why didn't you text me? No, the group chat. The group chat. Oh, group chat. <laughs> when I heard that shit, I almost spent $10,000, nigga. Okay, like that's, that, what, that's what New that's, York rap does. That's what New York rap is supposed to do. Fly shit. Like, that's I'll be what, outside. Like, foreigners outside. The chains is here. Bottle service. What we doing? Yeah, like, shout out to Jay Wong. That was really, really good, man. Yeah. And uh, the apple does not fall too far from the tree. Mm-hmm. And not only that, like, you can tell he's a student of... This, uh, of this game, he's Absolutely. a student. Yeah. Of he did what he had to do. It, it's not just on some. Oh, this is who I'm affiliated with, or this is my pops. Like, right. you could tell he takes his craft seriously. Like you said, when he came on the podcast, you could tell in his demeanor. Yeah, like he really breathes this shit. Like this, he don't got no plan B. Yeah, and I don't feel like that with a lot of artists. But when I hear him rap, and especially on this song, this feature, Capella Gray, Young May, it made sense. I think the placement in verses always stand out to me. Yeah. So when somebody comes on, when you're the first voice on a song or you're the first verse on a song, to me, it says something. Mm-hmm. Because we ain't got all day. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We ain't <laughs> yeah. got all day. Yeah, and so right to it. whoever made the decision to put him on that first verse on that song, Fly Shit, mm. I think that was a great decision. Like He, he smoked that. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, I don't care how much it sells for a... a a highly anticipated album like this, he smoked it from track one and track 22, even how he kept in New York. French Montana, Jay Out of Prince, Fabio Foreign, um, Kevin Caribbean, Skiller Bang, Maridon. Like, this just felt really good. If you haven't already, definitely go give it a listen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And what I think is fly as well is like, when you scroll down, I don't know if you guys can do this, but probably every every stream service, but I'm Spotify, listening. you could scroll all the way down and see it was released by Alapak the Family. That's his like yes. crew. Yes. Under and they have a partnership with 10K Projects, it says right here. But I think that's really great. Like it's it's like on his own terms. It's his mm-hmm. sound. Mm-hmm. And it came right off a weekend where everyone was talking about LA, but this is such a New York mm-hmm. centered project. And everyone mm-hmm. just feels that like camaraderie again, I feel like, because everyone's yeah. proud of like how good this project is. Absolutely. Shout out to you. Man. Y'all be outside a lot. Which song is currently like the one when you go outside, or which one do you think is going to be the one? Because oh, ooh, y'all know I, I listen to shit on random. I, <laughs> I listen to all albums on shuffle for the first time yeah. because I know that, that's how it's going to catch my attention. If I'm being honest, <laughs> like that's the science. I press shuffle You're and sick. I'm going to know which one I like based on when I hear it. You're sick. I heard a few that I'm like, yo, this should go outside. This could right. go outside. Like, do y'all have one? So the one that he has been prioritizing for the last year has been Baychester. Mm-hmm. Like he's been like repo- he's re- he's released this already. Mm-hmm. So that's the one he's like he wants to be the party anthem. But me, 
I love Poison, but he's been he has been teasing like uh like a fifteen minute like snippet of Poison for the last like three years, and it's like an inside <laughs> joke between him and his fans because everyone's like, "When are you dropping Poison? When are you dropping Poison?" And now that the yeah. full song is out, it was well worth the wait. Okay. Yeah, I think those are my two main ones, and honestly, not just because you said it, but Flash it with J One and okay. Young Ma. Yeah, right, cool. I, I would go with that one. I would go with Cash Cobain. Okay. Also, to end uh, for me on Cabela Gray, I think he had a cheat code. Uh, Cabela Gray can play keys. He can play the guitar. Mm. He's a real musician. And he brought his musicianship to this project. And that's why it sounds the way it sounds. Wow. Like, I never knew that. Yeah. To have an ear in music, is, is, it's unmatched because you can hear it. Yeah. It's not just you listening to producers or, hey, what do y'all think is good? It's like, mm -hmm. no, you're showing up with what you learned from church. Yeah. And you're showing mm -hmm. to prove it, man. Nah, that's Salute dope. to Cabello. That's dope. Before we get up out of here, I did promise at yeah. the top of this episode that we would give an update. Yeah. On some of our favorite whites. All Ooh. right. Quick update, Reggie. I yes. know you are super excited to hit the group chat. Uh, yes. <laughs> God always hears my prayers. So <laughs> I'm sorry I said this a million times, but I'm yeah. always going to intro it like this. I'm sorry. <clears throat> if there was a race war. It's <coughs> <coughs> funny as hell. <laughs> funny as hell. Were you drafted? <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. He fucked up my intro. Okay, sorry, if there was a race war to break out in this globe, the one Caucasian person I would save is Sean Evans from Hot Ones. I've said that time like and time it. again. And he just dropped a video. He's doing great. Here's my Caucasian update. He, <laughs> <laughs> he dropped a Hot Ones video of Sean Evans interviewing Sean Evans. And it was fucking iconic. Thank you, God, for giving me the best content <laughs> of the year. Because Sean Evans also interviewed Will Smith, and it was absolutely fantastic. Oh, and in shit. that video, Will Smith shouted out Koreans because he loved the kimchi sauce. So I'm just fucking winning. <laughs> so Dubs on dubs on dubs. Thank you. Can we add a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you guys like give it. your favorite white updates. All right, I got one for you real quick. <laughs> my guys, man. Um, Theo Vaughn. Hey. Theo Vaughn, one, 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 one of my favorite whites. He yeah. interviewed one of my other favorite wife get out of cool. here ed sharon oh yeah ed, ed sharon on, yeah. and theo von link up i am in I, fucking heaven wait, bro. Like, wait I, both of us are that's like that's what i'm saying winning. i was no. winning i'm like I, holy shit all i do is win wait, i forgot hurt. to tell you i have a, a new appreciation for ed sheeran i found out that he doesn't own a cell phone what? Really? He runs around with an iPad and he says people contact his team when he needs to be re uh, contacted and things of that nature, but he does not keep. Wait, but like, actually, though? That's good for him, though. I believe it. I, I believe, believe it. Believe because, it. like, for how much he does, so he keeps an he iPad, would if need, anything. Yeah. Like, to be on top of like your emails and shit, no? iPad. His team. When, when needed. Yeah. So that he has an iPad. So when that's needed, so I, I love do, that. Yeah, that's, I got to go check that. That's yeah, my man. Yo, go check out the interview. That's my son. You, I'm going to check you, that you out. You might fuck with Theo Vaughn, too. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my update, bro. Okay. Like I got the notification. Uh, it said Theo yeah. Vaughn's podcast, and then it said Ed Sheeran. And yeah. I don't know if Ed Sheeran's promoting something. Maybe he got an album coming. Whatever the case may be. Right, right. But as Reggie felt when she saw Sean Evans <laughs> interviewing Sean Evans, yeah, that's I saw two white men interviewing each other, and I was happy as fuck too. You're like, you're like, shit, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my guys, man. So shout out to Theo Vaughn and uh, Ed Sheeran. No, 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 I got one. I got one. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know if you were oh, yeah. gonna try to like distract us from oh, yeah, asking I I you. Yeah, it's breaking cool. news. Cool. I got one. It's, yo, it's not breaking news. <laughs> breaking okay, everybody. News. I got two. Ah. Mmm. Killed them today. Ooh. My first one gonna go to Jack Black. Shout out to my white nigga that got a black last name. That's nah, one. That's fine. <laughs> the update behind that is I haven't seen too much of him in acting. I think he's taking a, a little break. I would like to see him in some new shit. So that's Wait, so you one. don't have an update. Huh? That's my update. My update is that I don't have an update. <laughs> I ain't seen him in films. I hope yeah. he's doing well. So I hope Jail he's House doing well. Yes, yes. let's hope he's Schoolhouse Rock was uh -huh. fire. School, you know the one. That's right. my man, Jack yeah, Black. Yeah. Funny shit. Mm -hmm. Second one, I'm a Lakers fan. Big shout out to JJ Reddick. JJ, you could do it. We said no sports that? related. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck them. I I'm got kidding, one there. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I was about to say, I only got one <laughs> she there. Say that. She didn't say that? <laughs> All right, so I could do it. Yeah. Shout out to my man, JJ Reddick. All that analytic analytical shit you about to come with. We saw it, that coming. It better come with winning. Yeah, he, go, he went and started a podcast with LeBron and he thought we didn't think that was going to happen. That was a tryout for the job. That was a tryout. <laughs> that right? was a tryout that for the job. He was yeah. To see if they could think on the same wavelength. Yes, yes. Has LeBron um, been consistent with that or was it like a few episodes and he it's stopped? Over. Yeah, JJ said he's yeah, not a podcaster. No <laughs> eight episodes and ended. That's why I say Vaughn hate them celebrities that come to podcast. That do podcast. Like, pisses me off. They just yeah, come through. Like, this is a craft, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They just come through, I'm use what the they need to and dip. God damn it's it. crazy. So, yeah. don't avoid the question. Mm -hmm. What's the question? How about your favorite Asian? 
For sure, got nah, a favorite one. You I got, know, nah, I got. you know how we do, girl. Don't <laughs> you know do that. I, you know I and you don't. don't do that. I was with you this weekend. Yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying to like give you guys a heads up so you have time. To, look at him googling shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yo, his nah, thumbs are going trying, mad fast. He's nah, typing he bad. Tiger Woods. Stop. That does not count. <laughs> Yo, he's like 25 percent Asian. But he, but I'm I'm getting into golf now. I'm lying. I'm just well, looking you know at me. I love a selfish nigga, so I'm gonna go to Jackie Chan. Because <laughs> that nigga the said most stereotypical. Nah, yeah, he yeah, said yeah. he's not fucking with his son. <laughs> Yo, I respect yeah. that. If your son's a fuck up, fuck him. Yeah. The only Asian you know is Jackie Chan. That's crazy. Nah, that's not the only. Nah, <laughs> Nina and Tiger and Tiger Woods. No, I know, I know some more. Kamala uh, Harris. Stop shouting what? out non fully <laughs> Asian people. Black? She's part Asian. Bro. Kelly who? Who? Kelly who? <laughs> yeah. This has been a need to know podcast. My what favorite Asian know, is Reggie. And my, yeah. Stop, guys. That's my favorite one, though. Facts. No, that does that's not my count. favorite one. Because you guys have to know more Asians than me, okay? I'm going I'm to come back with some more. Nice. I'm going to be honest. You're the only one to know. I, I don't know his name, but now that I'm really, really, now, really, really thinking. Now you see what I was saying. You was laughing at me when I said that shit earlier, right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all remember, oh, uh, what is this fucking movie with Chris Farley? And he was... I, I gotta I see gotta what Chris Farley looked like. Hold on. You know Chris <laughs> wow, guys, look at them googling. <laughs> nah, 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 if you guys nah, nah, are watching on YouTube, they Chris. they don't even know their names. <laughs> Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Shout out to the Asian erasure. Oh, 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 oh this fat nigga. Yeah. <laughs> my fault. My fault. My yeah. fault. I like Chris Farley. He's funny. Wait, what's the movie? Wait, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Honestly. Oh, Beverly Hills. Ninja. Beverly Hills Cop. Ninja. Ninja. Not Beverly Hills. That is Beverly so Hills. racist. No. Oh my God, bro. I don't like him this, no more. This dude. Okay. I've seen you never see. You don't even know. No, I'm saying like that's your favorite Asian. <laughs> that's my man, yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the Hangover. Oh, that's not, that I forgot been wild. about him. I forgot that's, about I feel my like that's son. More what's, what's his name again? Jackie Chan. No, he's it's not doctor. Jackie Chan. He's a doctor. Mm -hmm. It's Leslie. Le no, that's in the movie. Isn't his name like Kenny? I don't know. Oh. You are supposed to know? Yeah. Why? Because I'm Asian. Reggie? Yeah. My favorite Asian is Su Young from Rush Hour because Su Young because she sparked it was King John. one of the best franchises of all time. That's fact. That's fact. I had a friend named uh, Ju Young. <laughs> nah, me too. Yo, he just did the thing where he's like, you're Asian? I have an Asian friend. No, you <laughs> said Su Young. Because you said Su Young, so it reminded me of Ju Young. I'm serious. I'm serious. I did that for real? <laughs> no, that would be like, no, this is, what, this is what he just did. It's like if I met you for the first time, you're like, hey, my name is Savon. I'm like, wow, I have a black friend named Javon. <laughs> like, that's what you just did. I would have been... <laughs> You were like, you nah, she like, cooking. what? She's cooking. Nah, she going crazy. Nah, she's yeah, cooking. Nice. Hell out of me. <sighs> she had 50 this game. 81. <laughs> she did have this 80. This is a Kobe episode. No, she went, nah, <laughs> she, she was hooping with seven Are threes tired? in a row. <laughs> Are you tired? You need some water. What you need us to do? Nah, I have my own water. Nah, like, you need just ice on your knees, queen. Like, <laughs> she came with electrolytes. I, I did enjoy the conversation about Savon shitting himself. <laughs> Nah, that was a classic. Them J. Cole fans, boy, they love some shit. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was a good joke. That was, was a good joke. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. You on the board. You hear now. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, man, uh, it was an amazing episode. Thank y'all for the yeah, laughs. Yeah. Thank y'all for the time. This podcast is not meant to be serious. This podcast nope. is to make you laugh and make your time go by a little bit faster at work yeah. doing Aww. the things you hate the most. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, if you made it this far in the episode, there is no reason that you shouldn't be subscribed, that you haven't commented. I didn't give y'all a shout out at the top of the episode because I felt like I had to highlight the short kings, but silent listeners. We are here with you. We see you. We love y'all. Literally, we see you now. So thank y'all for being vocal. <laughs> um, and with that being said, it's the Need to Know podcast. What you need to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know podcast. And we will be back again next week. Gang. Okay.